everyone, and welcome to A Filthy Questline, our Tuesday tabletop time slot, where today we will be playing Night Witches. I want to start, of course, by acknowledging that we're playing today in North Vancouver on the traditional territory of the Squamish Nation and the privilege that it is to work, play, and create on these beautiful lands. Another thing that we want to acknowledge today, this week in Canada and around the world, we have Remembrance Day. And so we'd like to start today with a minute of silence. Thank you, everyone. Welcome to Night Witches. Today we're playing a new tabletop game, new to us. And so we'll be following along, learning the rules, explaining to ourselves and to the audience how we're going to make this happen. And let's start with a little bit of backstory and introduction so we can meet our players today. And you are my proud air women of the 588th Night Bomber Regiment. After the First World War, many women in Russia and the Soviet Union learned to fly. For fun, for sport, they became excellent pilots. And then, 1941, Hitler invades. The motherland, disastrous. The Red Army in shambles. It has been a brutal war, many losses. And originally women were excluded for more, and being in the Air Force. But casualties mounted. Stalin himself said, yes, female volunteers. But you're the worst equipped. You're flying out of date airplanes. You're a joke to the men of the Red Army. But you're not to the Germans, because you're deadly at night. Your planes are so quiet, and you don't even have parachutes so that you can bring the higher amount of ordnance with you. They just hear broomsticks on the wind, and so they call you the Night Witches. As you awaken your fog of memories, you're in a very crowded tent. Together, 1943. You're all junior lieutenants, and you're stationed in Pashkovskaya, Russia. You're supporting the Black Sea Fleet in the battle for the Caucasus. There have been impassable roads, very little supplies are getting through, and it's extra crowded because you are sharing your entire airfield and base with the 218th Regiment, all men, war heroes. You're gonna be taking the fight across the blue line on the Taman Peninsula, the gateway to occupied Crimea. The men are here today because as you wake up in your quarters, you have pressed uniforms ready for a ceremony because you're gonna head right there where they're gonna receive the medals that you should have received for the mission that you flew this week, which resulted in the death of your comrades. Women died, and the men are being rewarded with medals of valor. Ladies, wake up in your crowded space together and introduce yourselves. I'm not wearing skirt tonight. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it, it's stupid. We're in war, I'm not wearing skirt, it's stupid. <laughs> Do you wear the pants instead or just... I'm wearing the pants. I don't care if they get mad. What are they going to do? Not give us medals? They're already not giving us medals. So. <laughs> it's already happening. It's already happening. Oi. Dobre utro. Dobre utro. So bad. Some of you know that you've been tasked with also writing some letters home for Zenia Petrova's family, the closest friend to you. 
who passed in her mission. When she died, she left you all of her records. From Maria, Ma Marina Roskova, the opera singer, and your hero. You all have regard for this woman. She died a hero, and she holds many flying records. Let us know your name, who you're playing, and if you're putting on one of those records, <laughs> what do you do when you listen to the music? Um, my name is Vedma Yudachavara, and I'm playing Espero, the junior lieutenant. I was great friends with Zenya, had amazing regard for her. Every time I listen to her records, it makes me want to sing. Next to you while you're playing your records and singing along. It's Galina Lubyashevskaya from Kharkov, Ukraine. She's a uh, squat, a uh, little greasy, uh, energetic, just, just sort of ball of energy. No regard for authority. She just wants to get out there and bomb some Nazis. But she does like some good music, so as the records play, she's kind of dancing, but she doesn't let other people see. She's <laughs> kind of dancing along to it. Привет! Меня зовут Valentina Valya Meneskovatskaya. Hello. My name is Valentina, but you can call me Valya. I am a raven. I am a junior lieutenant as well, as we all are. Um, I'm a little bit um, angular. My face is lively, one might say, and I'm from the hometown of Suzdal. Beautiful place. You should all visit. <laughs> um, when I hear these records of this person who we all admire so much, I grab a broom and I start dancing. Um, I don't care what I look like. <laughs> I just like to have fun and enjoy these little moments of joy that we have when next night might be our last. Sveta, Svetlana Formenkova. As I listen to the record, I think about my dear friend Zenya and I smoke. And I know that soon I too will meet the sweet embrace of death and I will see her once again. <laughs> <laughs> and when many of, of you ladies are introducing your backgrounds and your stories. You're using a bird to describe your character. And that's a really amazing, cool thing about Night Witches, um, is on your character sheets, your class, kind of, if we can use a comparable word, is a type of bird. And it gives you some role play inspiration, and then also some abilities that make your character unique from the other women, and very different from the men <laughs> that surround you, the Red Army in your barracks. And how pressed are your uniforms for the ceremony you're about to go attend? This early morning, strange setup. There seems to be a lot of buzz about it at the base. Uh, my uniform is still, it has grease stains and it's kind of just wrinkled. I kind of just did the front, didn't mm -hmm. care about the back. I'm a little bit hungover. And I don't, yeah, I, I have I have no, uh, I'm not excited for the ceremony at all. I just want to get some breakfast in me, really. Yes. That's all I can think about. So. I am pressing it while I dance and then I occasionally go and I look and I see that maybe your uniform is a little bit nicer than mine and I'm trying it on because, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, didn't press it, but you always press yours quite nicely. So I thought, mm, maybe I should just take yours instead. <laughs> yes. I've been sleeping in my uniform for three days. <laughs> it looks like it. I don't like this one. I like this one. This my one uniform is pressed and it is looking beautiful, but but it is worn inappropriately. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and it shall stay down like that. <laughs> We're not a fun in this one. We're not a fun. <laughs> you have a couple of sunflower seeds that you can snack on. Uh, you know that you have chores that you've been assigned to for some previous uh, out of line behavior. And you have to go to the mess hall after the ceremony where you are due to report to you. Um, dishes duty. Ugh. Again. I swear no one else may, right, washes dishes here. <laughs> We're the only ones that wash the dishes. What are the people going to eat them? <laughs> Just ridiculous. <laughs> and you complain about it loudly down the hall on your way 
to the ceremony. There are a lot of official looking people who've arrived at the base. It's a bit different for you. You've been surrounded mostly by your own regiment, but you previously had to emergency evacuate your airfield and it was taken over by the Germans. And now you're joined by some other members from the Red Army, including a politic official. So somebody from the secret police who's come to keep an eye on everything at the base and make sure that you're following the rules and that you're protecting the motherland and that there are no deserters or anyone speaking ill of the establishment. <clears throat> He's been here for, what is, three months now? And you all know that he's keeping a particular eye out for lesbianism in your ranks. Smart man. <laughs> <laughs> Does he, do we see him coming or are we just kind of walking and talking? You see Krushnik coming? Uh. Yes, yes, Deputy Politruck Krushnik. And he walks past and he's checking you all out. Looking I, you up and down. I would like to create a scene. I would <laughs> like to cause scene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, uh, so you want to act up. Yep. So on your character sheets, <laughs> you've got a series of options that we can do during the day side of this game. Yep. And if you act up, I do believe it would be a hooligan one. Hooligan. You'd hooligan. like to be a hooligan. And hooligan. what are you going to try to do in the hallway as you watch Deputy? the truck Krishnik go by um, well I see him go by and I still I still have my sweeper my my mm -hmm. broom from before and I would like to kind of feign as if I'm about to dance with him and then say oh no he's here I guess we won't take the chamber pot and like, switch them out for the soup pot when we're cleaning them today. <laughs> oh, so sad. And I do a little dance and then I, and then, but I tip my hat as well as I go by. <laughs> Sir? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Yes, and, I, and of course, just as he's passing me, I make sure to give one big wink. Mm. I give a wink. You're still switching wow. the pot with the chamber pot. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Obviously, it's hilarious. <laughs> that is not very soldier or ladylike roll. So, in Night Witches, you'll roll 2d6, <laughs> and then the outcome of that will be de will determine what we do next. So, I you're going to muscle. act out. <laughs> do when it. you roll do it. your 2d6, when you're acting up as a hooligan, you add your luck bonus. Oh, I don't have one of those. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was guts, oh well. <laughs> if you're acting ladylike, hey, uh, You'll roll guts because it takes a lot of guts to be a woman oh. in the Red Army. Well, yes, sorry. <laughs> oh, I got a five and a six. Eleven. Oh, dang! Yay! Oh. Yeah. In Night Witches, when you roll ten plus, you succeed. That is a tough roll. War and the situation you're in is brutal and unfair. We'll find out what happens the next time someone rolls and we're less than 10. But on this case, you get two things when you act up and succeed. Looks like mortal lesbianism for us tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so from the list that you can choose from, you can get what you want, which is our, maybe potentially you're trying to embarrass the deputy politruck. Mm. You can ensure that you get no consequences for it. And you have an option to add to the mission pool. So which, which of those things, you can choose two with your success. I would like to add to the mission pool. Smart. We'll add a bonus to the mission pool. Um, and I would, and of course, I also want to embarrass him. Okay, so you're not gonna select the option of no consequences for oh. your actions. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, no, I want that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Which one is a head, please? <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> and so one of the things, uh, just for the audience to know, when we add to the mission pool, it's sort of our goal throughout our daytime activities. The more times we add to the mission pool, then our air women can use those to add to your roles during the night. So once you're in the plane, if you succeeded during the day and you're well rested and you've repaired your planes and you've come together as a team and you're really in the zone and motivated, and equipped, you can spend these to make sure that 
your attack runs are successful. Oh, yes. So, oh, the more good. times we roll, we want to do those sorts of things and add to our mission pool. Otherwise, it's going to be a tough flight tonight to get the Germans. <laughs> the other thing that can happen over time is when you don't have that successful roll, you can become marked. And I can also do that as the game master. And the more marks that you accumulate, the more difficult I will be on you. And ah. the eventual result is that you're marked by death itself. Hi, yeah. Okay? So, we're gonna jump in here and have a good time because you have attempted to embarrass Deputy Balchuk Krishnik. <laughs> <laughs> your section lead, ensuring no consequences, your section lead jumps in. All of you recognize her right away. She is Oksana Boykova. She jumps in. She used to fly in a plane with Zenya. What's her last name, Terry? Boykova. Boykova. She steps in the hallway and she laughs and she puts a hand on his shoulder in a very casual and personal way and whispers into his ear. And although he's very angry with you, he keeps walking into the ceremony hall. And she turns around and she looks at the four of you. Why? Why always you four? <laughs> always. <laughs> if you didn't kill so many Germans, I don't know what to do with you. We have our own methods, you know. <laughs> this is things we need to do in order to kill Germans. So, uh, <laughs> what do you think she told him? <laughs> I, I think there is something. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Yikes. Just stick with the lesbian. <laughs> Let's yes. stick with the lesbian. Shouldn't joke about it. You know, he can have you taken away. Uh, the consequences cool. are extreme. Hmm. Do not make jokes today. Look at me, all of you, in the eyeballs right now. We're going to go into that room. And I know that we were flying. We were on that mission when Zenya died. It was my plane. And it was my fault. We caught fire. And she didn't make it. And even though I know that she died for that mission, I will be in that room today. And you are going to behave yourselves. And you're going to watch them get those medals. And you're going to smile every single time they look at you. Da. Da. Uh, can I, re can I reach yeah. out? Yeah, super. Oh, I'd like to reach out. Another to daytime maneuver. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I'd like to, uh, if I can, look at her in the eye and say, it's nobody's fault in war. Hey. Okay. Oh, nine. All right. Except sometimes it is that guy's fault. It's always that guy's fault. That guy. It's not your fault. Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> on the roll of a seven to nine on the reach out, you can remove harm, change regard, or add to the mission pool. So your reach out is successful, but with a consequence. Mm. Uh, I'd like to add to the mission pool. Okay. I want to make sure this whole team is, is feeling good about each other tonight. And for the reach out, role play a little bit more with her. Uh, planes can catch fire. We are flying over war and bombing people. You are not responsible for anybody. We are all on a death wish doing this. We know what we're into. Zenia know what she was into. She was willing to die for our cause. It's not your fault. You great pilot. And are you willing to smile for the cause? You give your life, but you will not behave today. What's the difference for you? Ouch. I will smile because I'll think of Zenya and only Arsenia. I will do anything for you. And she really means it. She wants to watch the four of you go in there, so she makes sure you actually attend the ceremony. <laughs> and then you don't fuck off. <laughs> and so she sort of like nudges the rest of you in. And you all notice, so that you can uh, note her name. Mm -hmm. Under regard. Uh, yes, and also 
you have a major who exists at the base with you, who you're all, you respect, because she gets the job done, but she runs a really tight ship, and she doesn't favor any, anyone. Major Yekaterina Volkov, and she is your regiment commander. Katerina. Yekaterina Volkov. Yekaterina. And if anything, you feel like she favors the brass. Um, and Oksana Boykova. 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 What was Katerina's last name? <laughs> Sorry. Yekaterina Volkov. <laughs> Volkov. And you can, you can pick out, as she is your regiment commander walking in, there is a very high official who you haven't seen before. And Oksana looks at you all and... That is the Lieutenant General. He's here to do inspection. Oh shit, I did not wear my skirt. <laughs> I told you. Oh dear. Don't if I fuck up. Mm-hmm. Hold my legs together, does it look like skirts? <laughs> yes, looks good. Thank you. <laughs> Press very tight and roll up your like, legs a little bit so you see some ankle. <laughs> Hello. No, Hello. don't do this. Oh, don't no. do oh. this. <laughs> so, you can all yes, anticipate <laughs> anticipate that the, the Lieutenant General will be doing rounds at the base today. And your major, she's very occupied with entertaining that person and making sure they see the best that you all have to offer. You enter into the hall. Lots of your fellow air women are there and the full complement of the 218. The men are there, a little rowdy. They're celebrating, they're having fun. And whenever groups of them look over at you, you can see them laugh. They notice you. But they also know that they'd prefer if you were all back at home and they don't want to fight alongside you. Well, then they'll fucking die. <laughs> I would like to smile very broadly every time they look my way because I imagine killing them in the night. <laughs> <laughs> A couple of them are mistaking it for flirting. Fills me with joy. <laughs> <laughs> so they are looking back, winking. They've nudged their buddies. I'd kill you and you and you. <laughs> the only good man was Misha, my husband, and he's dead. <laughs> Better because he did. <laughs> it's improvement. Improvement. <laughs> I, I, I. If I wanted to wash dishes and cook for meals for a man I would have married, and I didn't, I chose airplanes instead. This is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and from our chat, thank you. Valia, you have inspiration. Valia. Inspiration. Thank you. Well, and Galina, you're reflecting. I'm reflecting? You're thinking oh. about all of the people here in this hall, and it reminds you of the last time that you were in a crowded room with many people. And the last time that you wrote to someone back at home, and that memory came up in that letter. I'm thinking about my sister Sonia and her wedding. Her husband died in the Battle of Kiev. So, but she has little boy now, little two-year-old boy. I fight for him. That was a fun wedding. <laughs> they let me do speech. <laughs> they should not have let me do speech. Amazing. How many vodka? So many vodka. <laughs> many. And so you take away a little bit of that fun experience that you remember about what it used to be before the war and what are you really fighting for and why are you here and what are you really willing to die for and if Oksana is right then you can probably do this too um what does it um if I have inspiration does that just mean I can roll again on yes the- yeah we'll let you re-roll okay thanks Sweet. so uh save that yes yeah, or <laughs> save that for some intense Intense time. We're going to need it. Oh. A couple other people that you can pick out in the crowd of note, because it's not just uh, you soldiers here at the base. There's a bunch of other support staff that help you out. And you can pick out the doctor, because many of you have been patched up a few times. Mm. His name is Nikolai. Dr. Belsky. You can see that there are a handful of other mechanics. They help you repair your planes. You can recall that Zenya was a particularly talented mechanic as well 
as a navigator? Oh, she taught me so many things about planes. I would like to go up to Nikolai. I would like to reach out because I know that he tried his best to patch up, um, I forgot her name. Zenia. The person I care about very much and forgot. Yeah. Zenia. Um, and Zenia died. Died. Yes. But yeah. he patched her up in the past, I think. Yes. And tried very hard to save her life when it, she returned. This is what I mean. And so I wanted to go and to say thank you for doing his best when the other people around said, do not waste your time. She is gone. And he still tried. And as you approach him, he's, it's easy to pick out the smell of alcohol on his breath. Oh. He's already drunk again. And he sees your approach. He says, I don't have time. No, another one. <clears throat> Can you just let me celebrate? All the rest of them. <laughs> Nikolai, come sit, sit. It's still early. I know you have seen many things in this war. And I know that every night and every day you try for us. Thank you. Thank you for what you did for Xenia. And here's the vodka. <laughs> you've, been, you've been stacking away some of your own vodka rations. Yeah. And I would like to give him a little bit extra, but that was a long night. I won't hide it for you, too. Did she tell you? What? Xenia. Xenia. Oh. You're, no. you're not asking me for that. No. Oh. What did Xenia <clears throat> leave for me? I do not know. Does not. And he looks at you and away at everyone else. I'm drunk. Don't worry. Go do your fly, fly planes, bomb Germans, do whatever. No, Le Nikolai, Nikolai, we need to write home to her family. If it's something important, we must know. We must write. We have promised her that we will write to her family. You can't. You, you can't tell the major. Of course not, that asshole. <clears throat> <laughs> it was very quiet. No one heard. <laughs> she was pregnant. Oh. Oh, Nikolai. I tried very hard to save life. Oh. She was cheating on me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you, you actually do know that she was in several romantic relationships mm. with other female members at the base on and off through your time together. Mm. Mm. Do you know who... It's a surprise to you in yeah. particular for Xenia. Nikolai, do you know anything about how this came about? I don't ask you women anything. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> no Thank one wants to know. Fair enough. Thank you, Nikolai. And, and lastly, coming in, just the mechanics of note, um, in case you want to talk to them later, who also knew Zenya, Ivan, and Mikhail. Is there and any uh, uh, Ukrainian mechanics? Hmm? Is there anybody I can, like, is there anyone that I know here that I can speak Ukrainian with? Because I have to speak Russian for everybody. I, I, I think you, yeah, you can talk to <laughs> Mikhail. Mikhail? So Ivan and Mikhail are mechanics? Yeah, and they are, you recognize them as, they're not like they're on your team, but they don't actively work against you most of the time. <laughs> you know, like, you know, they're there to try, they, fi they love to fix planes. And yeah. they love planes. And they will probably be in the hangar later fixing planes. Yeah, I'd like to go up to Mikhail and just speak in Ukrainian and just bullshit a little bit and kind of small talk, but. It's just nice to speak to somebody who speaks my language. Yeah, and of course, should you think it should be, you know, maybe some of you guys up there? Uh, They're starting to, to move a couple of the mm. prominent heroes onto a stage and they're getting ready and the Lieutenant General, Lieutenant General is going to hand out the Medals of Valor. Yeah, talk, talk, talk. I did these men, it was us who did this bombing. None of them did this. It's always the same. You may as well get used to it. It is what it is. Is it though? 
I think they all know. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. It's a shameful ceremony. But what is a medal at the end of the day? What do you do with a medal, you know? Sunday, war be over, you have a medal. What good is that? Make bullets kill men. Make bullets <laughs> kill men. <laughs> the lieutenant, lieutenant general, you can all hear, he's giving a speech, and Oksana is looking at the four of you to just be like, better <gasps> shut up, listen, <laughs> smile, as he's talking about how important it is that the heroes of the war are recognized and that the men here today are celebrated so that the boys back home have someone to look up to. What about the girls back home? Who do they have to look up to, huh? And he continues <laughs> to talk about the motherland. I'm gonna elbow. And how we are all here to support each other and our vision as a group and as a family. If they are out here to defeat the Germans, as long as we have brave sons, like the men receiving medals here today. Bullshit! And daughters! Ugh, that's the vodka. Morning vodka, so strong. So strong. Not enough vodka for this. Yeah. Svetlana, you have inspiration. And the medals are awarded, and the heroes <laughs> are so excited. Uh, a bunch of the men come over, and they know that soon they're gonna all head to the hall for a meal and a bunch of them are trying to put in orders with you. Ah, my medal looks so good on you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, like, what are you making for breakfast? My pig. What are you making for supper? <laughs> for all of us. I shit. <laughs> I want more than just beets. Okay, I'll give you beets. <laughs> so much more. Yeah? Mm. Do you want us to bring sausage? Uh, Can I oh. shit talk? I would like to shit talk. <laughs> okay. I'd like to, I'd like to act up. So, uh, act yeah. up. Yeah, I have shit talking. Is that that's a move I can do? Move. Can I do that? I'd like to shit talk, please. And what does it say on your sheet? Is your ability for shit talking? Call out another player character you despise at a debriefing and roll plus regard. So you don't have regard for these characters. So if we say that we can try the shit talking here, you're gonna shit talk this guy. Yeah. And you're gonna use. We'll use the roll idea of act up. Mm -hmm. So you're going to act probably not like a lady. Nope. Um, <laughs> and like a hooligan, you'll add luck to your roll. Okay. I so got, roll your 2d6. I got none of that. <laughs> um, Somebody does. It happened to me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, nope. <laughs> I got a six. So now you can choose if you have inspiration to re-roll. I don't, do oh, I? Okay. I don't think I was given inspiration. Mm. No, Svetlana and Valia. I don't have any. Listening Twitch? Don't have any. I have nothing to say. Okay. See what the shit you get me in, Twitch? Uh, the men are not impressed. They thought it was friendly. You've been winking at them the whole time. And they're with, as they're watching, walking past the four of you. And suddenly the conversation isn't fun anymore. Mm. And it's very cold. And they look at you. We'll report to you. Huh. While the you're at it, show them your shiny medal. <laughs> yeah. The medal demands respect. Mm. It's uh, funny how you didn't earn it, though. Just like my respect. And I think maybe tomorrow night we'll ask for show. For show? Yeah. I think we'll go to the lieutenant general and say, the women of the 588th are probably better on the dance floor. <clears throat> I'm a very good perhaps. dancer, but not for you, sir. <laughs> I think maybe, you know, we'll ask you ladies to put on the show. Now I'm gonna try to like, yeah, <laughs> just get in there. Um, because, you know, I heard Oksana and I feel like I want to, I have regard for Oksana and I want to try to do what she says. So I'm going to roll for ladylike guts in this moment. <laughs> ladylike guts. Is anyone else joining? I'll join. Be ladylike? Yeah. I'd give well, them no, well, so maybe not that, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, I have four and four, so eight. Okay. And, okay. 
So you can get one thing from the list. They'll do what you want. Mm -hmm. You can ensure no consequences for it, or you can add to the mission pool. I add to mission pool. Add to mission. <laughs> I add the mission pool. Well, so we need more not... like later than we do right now. <laughs> yeah. right. You're, they're not going to respond to you in the way you hope. Yeah, that's okay. I'm okay. gonna add to the mission pool. I'm I'm getting us through this night. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so they look over at you, and yeah. you attempt to help, but you're not really picking up on the vibe of being a second lady next to her for this approach. And so what does this look like? So I'm going to go and I'm going to look demurely down and then up and I'm going to smile and I'm going to say, um, sirs, gentlemen, please excuse my fellow comrade. You see, it has been a very hard night and we've lost someone very dear to us and it hurts especially this night. So, you know, um, we apologize for... <coughs> no, oh, uh, uh, uh. Uh, and, you're, are you all, and you're attempting a demure look, yeah. but it's, yeah, it's not, not really, really that no. convincing, but I'm going to try. Yeah. <laughs> and you're, I'm, I'm like, not into this. I'd rather fight kind of them. Of those. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't land, and he looks over at the bunch of you, and he says, and I hear you sing, and I guess you tap dance, probably, and uh, you two are jokers. So, yeah. yeah. You know, we'll make that happen. Make sure that we have a good supper. We'll see you all in the hall. Enjoy your dishes. And the bunch of them laugh in your face and they leave. Welcome Raiders. I hope the Germans shoot really good tonight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think we should poison them. <laughs> if Hi. only wouldn't, we would only not be put on dishes all the time. I, no, think, they, I think they have gotten wind of this poisoning plan. <laughs> <laughs> we make food. Galia, yeah, yeah, you have inspiration from the chat. Oh, they hear your plea. Thank you, Twitch. Sorry, I yelled at you early. <laughs> Hi. Lots of inspiration around. Check in with me before uh, you take your terrible role at some point. Okay. We move on from the hall. The four of you. How do you feel leaving that room? I think I'm like sh I'm like shaking mad. Like I'm mm. super mad that like there's a there's several levels of Galena. There's lots of yelling usually, but when she's really mad, she's very quiet, and that's scared her. And she's very quiet right now. She's just walking and just speaking Russian or uh, Ukrainian bad words under her mouth. I'd like to eyeball as we leave, just to see if there's any any man in that room who's reacting a specific way to like to my comrade's death. Mm -hmm. Looking for the father. Yeah. Ooh. Oh Ooh. shit! Damn. Okay, so roll to eyeball. Clever. Another one of your options is a move during the day. It's gonna be, it's a, it's a really bad roll, so I'm actually gonna take my inspiration right now. <laughs> I hope, oh. hope now it's a nine. Later. Great. So, <laughs> when we're not like a usual the roll, <laughs> uh, 10 plus is, is what we're aiming for for the success mechanic. So, on a seven to nine, though, you still get. Um, a hold, which means you can ask a question now or later, and you can also pass that to someone else if you share the information with them. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give you some info, but you can ask me another question. Okay. You can also, if you act up on this information, add one instead of getting to ask me another question. Okay. And as you look around the room, one person is kind of standing behind a little bit because Oksana put a picture of her navigator out after everyone else exited with a lone white rose. Someone's actually watching her. And it's Deputy Polichuk. Deputy Polichuk? The Polichuk, who's the officer who represents the Secret Service. Ah. You guys embarrassed him in the hallway. Mm. Uh, uh, <laughs> that asshole. Yeah, you guys, you guys embarrassed him in the hallway. He was ogling women, and he is responsible for making sure that none of you are lesbians mm. and doing something about it if he thinks you are. Wow. Big and job. everything else, obviously, but it's one thing on his list to look out for. 
Mm. No one's gay in the Red Army. <laughs> hmm. Mm. Not the this one. Me and Misha, we were great lesbians together. <laughs> Me and the girl from the village and him, great. Now he's dead. <laughs> now we're not such great lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> so you notice you notice both Oksana and and the Krishnik character. Um, and he pulls her aside and they have a very heated conversation. Now you can share that information with someone, you can ask me another question, or you can act up based on that. Can I hold out? You can hold that and ask that later. Yeah. Yeah. Take that information oh. with you then, and keep it to yourself. These, you know. these guys seem a little heated right now. I'll tell them. I'll tell them a bit later when it's like, nobody's gonna die about it. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're on your way to the mess hall. Woo! You recognize uh, the two gentlemen from earlier who you had the heated exchange with, as they are celebrating with their medals, having a lovely meal. Everything is being brought out for them. People are really catering to them. Fedorov and Balakin, and they are telling completely horseshit version of events of what happened mm. when Zinya died. They're talking about the airfield. They're talking about all the German troops on the ground and how they single-handedly, in their much newer plane, managed to take the entire airfield out without any assistance. And that's why they're receiving the medals today. They're getting kind of drunk, even though it's very earlier in the day. And they're saying that anyone else's planes who didn't make it back in one piece, or any members of those planes, it's probably because they're terrible pilots. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. <clears throat> Our job is, of course, in the kitchens. <laughs> and you're quickly hustled there by the staff of the mess hall. And as they give you in, they're just one hand is your apron, and another hand is your scrubber, and you've got a giant pile of dishes to clean up. Can I scrounge in the kitchen? <laughs> yes, let's For go around because we'll think everybody wants to do something. So let's start over here. Uh, what are you going to do first? We'll come back for the scrounge. I would like to very discreetly slip out of kitchen <laughs> and go up to the men shit talking. And I would like to put on very, very nice apology for them. And say, oh, let, we are all soldiers. We're all in this together. Let bygones be bygones. Let me buy you a beer. Uh oh, this is not going to go well. Uh, <laughs> not for them. Do you want to try that as an act up or a reach out? I don't know. Okay, so when you act up, you can try being probably you can try doing it from a ladylike perspective, and we can roll that as your act up option, or you can reach out, which is usually more more genuine. So I think reach out. Okay, so you want to try try that. So reach out to them. <laughs> so you'll roll your two dice. Are you still going to put piss in this beer? I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's not good. It's it's beer and not the vodka. I believe suspicious. you have inspiration yeah, if you want to try a reroll. But if not, we can stick with it. So you can keep your four. You gonna keep your four? I guess so. Okay, so they obviously are not receptive. That's fair. To the conversation. Yeah. And they recognize that you're part of this group and they're oh no shit I need to tonight I know what missions they're going to do don't worry if you don't like it here could be last night anyways and they note down that they're going to put your names forward for the dangerous mission tonight that you haven't heard about yet. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Time to act up. <laughs> <laughs> Around the table, anything happening for your character? Huh? You're, you, you got mitts full of dirty pots. Um, yeah, I, uh, I think I'm just, I think I'm just in the kitchen, like, scrubbing pots till the finish comes off of them and like throwing them down. Like I'm just, I'm like a machine of rage and it's just a string of like in, incomprehensible Ukrainian swear words just happening. That's all I'm doing. Great. Um, I'm like <laughs> dodging as suds and things fly out of <laughs> your <laughs> pot and area. 
Um, and while that's happening, I'm kind of trying to look around the kitchen to see if there's anything that I could scrounge that might be useful uh, tonight. Awesome, scrounge is another one of your day moves. When you scrounge, you can do it in two kind of ways. You can do it by the book, so follow the rules, you know, the rules of the space, maybe ah. set out by the people who work there. I see, I see. Um, or you can go against the rules, you know, huh. screw the rules. <laughs> and in that case, you know, you're not worrying about who owns what, which spaces are designated for who, which doors have signs in them that say, do not enter. Mm. Oh. Um, so you pick one of those two options and roll your dice. Well, I don't have luck, <laughs> so, uh, but they probably wouldn't just give me something out of the kitchen. <laughs> I'm gonna go by the rules because there's probably not anything super useful here anyway, but maybe there is and maybe maybe I can charm the pants off of whoever. Scrounge your mind. I'm gonna scrounge it. Okay. So scrounge, scrounge, scrounge is used for whenever you're looking for something that might be useful to you. Yeah. Well, one thing is, so there was a, I think there was a slight tear in some of the canvas and I know that you can make quite a good paste out of just flour and water. Um, so I might be able to repair something if I could just Please, 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 please. Ah, merde. <laughs> uh, that's the wrong one. Uh, wrong wrong language. Country. Six. <laughs> okay. The chef sees you put your hand, and you don't even reach for that bag of flour, and it <laughs> looks like you might be able to take a scoop out of it. And she slaps you with her spoon. What are you doing? No! Sto! Sto! Did I you? Would. It was you. You took my chocolates the other day. You no. thief! What would I use chocolates for? I just wanted a handful of flour I was about to ask you. But you didn't. I'm going to report you. N I was about to ask you. I put my hand out and up, like out and up, about <laughs> to put my, raise my hand in question. <laughs> It was a question, excuse me. Look, I'll do more, di give me more dishes. Don't, it's okay, uh, it's okay. And she points down at a giant bag of potatoes. Oh. They're your job now. Okay. They're your life now. Da, 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 da. Okay, you have potato peeling duty. Spassi, bas, spassi. Do you, you're in the kitchen. So I'm just like, why, why they clean dishes? There's still perfectly good food on here. This is, this is a complete waste. And she's just kind of passing them off to you. Um, but I, like, okay, were they actually making the female pilots wash dishes in these bases? Is this like historically accurate? <laughs> I, I think everybody had to do a bit of everything, but no, they tended to have a lot more staff to help out. Okay. But oh my yeah. gosh. Okay. That's it. Are you, are, you, are you ready to like flip tables? Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I guess I would Some have to. Some of the staff who were doing it would have been women, but. Yeah. But yeah. I guess I'd have to roll for this, but like, because I'm so mad, can I do all the dishes way quicker than we were supposed to? Ooh. Eh? Yeah, I think so. I you're guess. at a pace that you're. This is an inhuman pace. Yeah. What do you want to do with your time that you save? Uh, Help me peel potatoes. I will. Uh, I would like to go out and scrounge in the workyard to try and fix my planes. Are you bringing anyone with you? Uh, please. <laughs> I need to tell you guys what happened in the hall. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, maybe I'll bring some. I'll, I'll come with you. Yeah. Okay, so the three of you go, and you have to peel potatoes. So you're going to miss the next scene. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I could make something okay. out of these. So you're heading out. <laughs> you're heading out to. Do you want to go to? There's sort of a hangar where here. some planes have been pulled into for some specific repairs, and then there is the airfield itself, where there are also planes out on the field. Uh. Ah, uh, yeah. I guess I'll go into the hangar. Is is um. Mikhail. You're looking Mikhail, there. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna go in the hangar and okay. uh, talk to Mikhail and see what we have going on. Maybe there's planes. Pretty wrecked. I can take a nice piece from that plane, put it on my plane. And as you enter thing. into the space, large open space, crowded where the women's planes are, and just junk is being piled there. And your planes are very old, 20 years out of date. The newer planes have much more care. The mechanics are tending to them mostly. Um, and you see Mikhail and his buddy, they're a bit distracted looking at the newer, better planes, being like, 
these are what we should be working on, like, these are pieces of shit. Obviously they die all the time. What? <laughs> they, they don't, what the, what are we even doing here? And they're just like, ooh, we got the other ones. And you notice that they are actually not working on your planes the way they should be. Aye, aye, aye. Uh, I'll go to Mikhail, like, Budleska, please, please, our planes are shit, we need, can you help us work on those, our planes, these planes are beautiful, they're so nice, they don't need work. Budleska, Budleska. Okay. Gotta tell you guys something. Okay, oh, yeah. What is it? <laughs> Apparently, we're going to be given really shit duty, and we're going to die. <laughs> So we need everything to be working perfectly. Mikhail, Stop. shit duty, die! Assholes are going to put our names forward for death mission! Ay, ay, ay. Please help us. Thank God, finally at last. I've been waiting for this. <laughs> Sweet release of death. Nevast! Nevast! The Please. three of you notice that there are the three planes that you would fly in tonight. Trust me, not So, me. your two yeah. that you're in, and then presumably Oksana, and a replacement navigator. And those three planes are there, and her plane is in rough shape. Ah. Mm. Obviously, a fire broke out on the plane, plus you can see all the bullet holes across the back of it. You all took enemy fire. The Germans have spotlights. They are figuring the Night Witches out. They are firing from the ground, and they're also, at dusk and dawn, having their own jets, not jets, World War II. <laughs> having yeah. their own planes hit the air and they are coming for you mm. so you can see that all of your planes have suffered a little bit of damage but in particular it's Oksana's that needs the work uh, can I uh, reach out to Mikhail and see if I can uh, get him get his help and expertise a little bit yes I will do I'll suggest that you'll do a reach out you try for a repair Mm -hmm. and work on things, and you may want to eyeball again here in uh, this new space. Okay. So, starting starting with our reach out. Eight. <laughs> Eight. So, good option, you can add to the mission pool, and it is somewhat successful for you. And he he's listening to you and turns around. Yeah, yeah, we'll get to it, we'll get to it. Uh. But flying tonight in a very bad mission, it's going to be very dangerous. Please, anything you can spare. Do you want, maybe you're going to give me something? What do you want? What are you offering? <laughs> I think this one. We got lots stage. of potatoes. <laughs> uh, what can I offer? Sexy time. <laughs> <laughs> We all find it. His friend leans <laughs> in when he's like, what do you want? What about the potato in the kitchen? <laughs> but give him some oh. You know, uh, we like music. Oh. oh. Oh, the record. We've got the record from oh. Zinia. Maybe uh, we like that. With this instead. Excuse me for one second, I have to have conflab. <laughs> uh, Mm, what say you about <laughs> giving uh, one of Zenia's records to Mikhail? Okay, but not special one. Not special. not one with our song on it. <laughs> Give shit one with scratch. Shit one. <laughs> but we'll say it's the best. Act one. like it's good one. <laughs> <laughs> Let the audience know also the whisper. <laughs> so what's okay. the outcome of it? Uh, where? Yes, I have. Hook up for a very good record. Perfect condition. Amazing. No scratches. <laughs> So uh, good. So good. <laughs> it's very special song. to us, Xenia's record. You know, she died last night. This is very big. Painful. This is a very big gesture. We're very nice women. You know, Xenia, we, we caught her and Oksana and their plain ones. Oh! oh. <laughs> uh, I sure it wasn't what she, saw, what she thought it was. Probably she had something on her shirt. <laughs> for Oksana. <laughs> Something on their shirt. <laughs> well, it was her and some woman. I mean, not the woman she shared her plane with. That would be crazy. Mm, indeed. Indeed. <laughs> well, uh, And they're looking at all of you being like, wait, was it someone else in the plane? Oh, no. Definitely not. <laughs> no lesbianism here. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> uh... <laughs> 
Well, <laughs> uh, do you accept my offer of a very nice not scratch record? Yeah, bring record, we'll fix the plane. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Uh, so you yeah. want us to work on your plane? Um, it prioritizes Oksana's plane. It's very bad, I'm yeah. fired. Uh, but then yes, if you can take a look over, uh, if you find anything that the other planes don't need, you catch my drift. Mm -hmm. yes. You bring, you bring good gift. We'll see what we can do. Yeah. Get over here. Okay. You're gonna work on a repair. Repair for your own uh, plane, which took a bunch of damage as well. Because you are all deserving of the Medal of Valor from the last flight. Roll for your repair, and you can add skill. 10. And you have a bonus to skill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do. Uh, and as you roll, you actually notice something that they missed. They haven't been paying attention at all, and you very quickly repair a part of your engine. On your plane, you, the two of you know, it sparks a lot. Mm. For some reason, it just you're you're just waiting until the fire breaks out on yours, <laughs> and it's part of the charm of the plane. You know, you have a nickname for it, Sparky. <laughs> Sparky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and formally on the side of your plane, you've painted Morning Star. <laughs> painted what? Morning Star. Oh, love that. But you call her Sparky. <laughs> you know, and and it's just that you're just waiting until you are at dawn, headed home someday, completely on fire. Hmm. Yes. It's gonna happen. Probably. Someday soon. Yes. Someday soon. <laughs> Hopefully. We should probably use less hairspray. <laughs> Never. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> and you're over here next to the plane that the two of you would share. Mm -hmm. If, you know, your sure. pilot was actually with you and not potato. feeling potatoes. Uh, your plane, you know, you kind of give it a little pat. It also has some quirky things about it. It makes kind of a weird whistling noise through the air. And you... Love it about it, but Good also banshee. The banshee. Always making noises like that. <laughs> <laughs> Something about the way it's just not quite level anymore. And you're gonna eyeball out into the yard. I'm gonna eyeball out into the yard. Um, ten. Wow, good roll, team. Ooh. So, on the ten, you can also. Ask more questions. So in particular, what you think you're looking for, and I'll give you information. And you can share information with your team and add one when someone acts up on it, mm -hmm. if you want to. And looking out into where the other people are, you notice that the Lieutenant General is coming for the inspection. Oh. Really? Hmm. Coming through the space, the men's planes look top notch. Everything looks to be in good shape. The mechanics there have been very attentive. For the ladies' planes, not so much. And not only is he finding that your planes are in disrepair, ill cared for, poorly supplied, but there are some personal items inside the planes that look like they really shouldn't be allowed. There's some vodka, there's chocolates. There is very embarrassingly as he pulls it out of one of the planes what used to be a silk parachute and instead it's been fashioned into a pair of undergarments <laughs> by some of the night witches nice. and left Humble. in the plane and the look on his face and the embarrassment but you can see that he immediately looks towards the politruck officer he's very suspicious and he wants him to act you can see that they talk to each other. Mm. And Krushnik looks embarrassed. I want to pull my, my compatriot, my comrades. Comrades. Comrades aside uh, and say, I've got something I think I need to tell you all. Did you see how strange Polachek was acting at the memorial, the medal ceremony? Uh, I try not to look at him at all, as he disgusts me. You're, you're a wise woman, <laughs> wiser than me. I looked. I have bad feeling. Our dear friend Zenya, we know, you know, she and Oksana, they have their sexy time. She and many women, they have their sexy time. Uh. But I have bad feeling that maybe she and Polachok have something that wasn't sexy time. Mm. Oh, 
I think maybe we need to kill more than just Germans tonight. Oh. That's what I think, ladies. <laughs> Let's do it. If he touched Hearing the information, then, yeah. you know that it was it was it was you in the plane and not Oksana. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to share that with your team. Also my undergarments. <laughs> <laughs> You're an excellent seamstress. <laughs> Those parachutes, beautiful. <laughs> um, but it doesn't matter because the night witches didn't fly with parachutes anyways. Because instead of flying with a parachute, that weight was transferred to the bomb. So you could carry more bombs with you if you were lighter. So not only were you literally lighter than the men who might fly those extremely out of date biplanes, you also traveled as light as possible. And we bring just more bombs. extra ration for undergarments. Undergarments are for the motherland. Right. <laughs> Sexy time. Sexy time. <laughs> Sexy time. <laughs> what good is fighting if we have no good morale? It's mm. true. Very true. And you think about the what you know about available to the politic as options. And if they arrest somebody, men may go to prison, but women will go to a mental institution. This is worse. Mm. Well, you should go to prison sometimes, it's bad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not good either. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and as, as you all discuss that, and the Lieutenant General comes by and firmly looks over the planes and doesn't even seem to notice you. Am I still feeling positive? You arrive. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you arrive for the end of the inspection. Okay. You as, smell like a potato. <laughs> as he goes over, he doesn't even notice the four of you and addresses the two mechanics and gives them a serious dressing down. These planes are embarrassing. Everything here is embarrassing. The Red Army is embarrassed. And I will make my report. Maybe we don't need all the regiments if they are going to leave us looking like fools. Ugh. And he finishes looking at all of your planes, makes eyeballs with the men in the room, Oh. And he leaves. Hi. Hi. Doesn't even say anything to us. Mm. So rude. And your options go. now. Thank you. You can return to your barracks, a good place to regroup, mm -hmm. and potentially change out of some of the outfits that you might have chosen to wear. To wear. <laughs> to wear for your uh, session in the mess hall. You can also go to talk to other people around the base. Are we done? We're done kind of repairing what we can. Are they? How's, how's our plan doing? <laughs> yeah. yeah. How's this? How's Banshee? Are we okay? How's Sparky and Banshee <laughs> doing? <laughs> Barely holding it together. You have left the mechanics who will do their own role okay. with Oksana's plane and a good repair on your end for your own planes. Okay. Your planes will function as best as they can. Same. Mood. <laughs> <laughs> Valia. Yeah. On the way out of the room. You're thinking again about um, the little boy back home. And you need to write him to tell him about today's events. Mm -hmm. So on your walk back to your quarters, very cramped, you pass by other men serving their functions here at the base. I'm going to be polite. Oh wait, sorry. Thinking about who he's gonna grow up into and the world that he's coming to become a man in. Mm -hmm. What do you wanna tell him back home? Uh, first I wanna start by like saying the story of the battle and how exciting and how good his auntie did in the battle and um, I tell him that uh, I hope he grows up in a world where we're all equal and can all work and enjoy each other and work alongside each other instead of against one another. 
And it goes country to country, uh, man to woman, whatever. They can work together. It's just a socialist dream. The socialist dream. You arrive back to your barracks, your quarters, extremely tramp, cramped. You've all been given very little space once the men arrived. Hey. Your room is sacked. Your valuables have been searched and not in any way that left anything intact or cared for. And your records are missing. <gasps> All of them. Who did this? Huh? Is there, there's other people around? The four, just the four of you in this space right now. I, uh, I start scrambling um, and I pull up my little mattress. Uh, I had cut into the mattress and put a, a picture of my family, and I was making sure that that's there. Is that there? No. <gasps> Why would they take photo of your family? They want to look at your family? <laughs> There's men. Or <laughs> not even that attractive. Each of you check for your own <laughs> prized possessions. What are you looking for? It's a wooden carving of a bear, done for me by Misha. It's probably gone. <laughs> It's actually broken. Oh. He should have carved it better. <laughs> this is why he's dead. <laughs> this is it's why he's dead. Misha. Misha. <laughs> was it a wood carving accident? Yeah. yeah. No, it was a bear. bear. Oh, a bear carving accident. <laughs> nah, nah. Don't ever try to carve a bear. <laughs> no. Bad. Um, I'm looking for a locket with a picture of my sister Masha in it. It's also missing. <sighs> Senor's records. Is there anything else that you're searching for? I have one small crystal that I use as a pendulum because Vedma means witch and Yudacha means fortune. So after growing up in a series of orphanages in Siberia, I had to tell fortunes once I aged out of the system to get by, and that's all I have, as I have no family. It's missing. That will kill them. <laughs> I know. Anything you had that had any hint that it might be valuable to you is gone. Doesn't mean that it had to look like it had value as money, but if you might have hidden it because it was important to you, it's missing now. doesn't look like things have been confiscated in a way that you might think if the polo truck had come by. It looks like your room has been turned over by very unprofessional people. It's and just, your broken item and the rest of the mess is left that way. It's those lower ranking assholes. Why yeah. did you have to antagonize them like this? Look, now I've lost this thing. Oh, it's a woman that says whatever to the, to the lieutenant, I can't say his name, Papalucha. <laughs> Papalotopolis. Ah, you think you did this? In I don't Greek. think you did this. Yes, but you're you're judging me for saying things to another person. Ladies, when ladies. you said that just you're a shit talker too. These <laughs> assholes from ceremony. Come on, let's not fight. They are worse than we are. Why we fight? They are assholes. Not so, she did not break her things. She did not take them. Those assholes. They would. That's planned murder. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> There is no time for this. We have no time for murder, only... There is always time for murder. <laughs> I liked what Ved was saying. Oh, we didn't tell you about this. No. Well, you see, Polachuk, he's looking strangely at uh, Zenya's memorial. I have, bad, I have bad feeling in my gut, the way I know when there was a blizzard or a bad snowstorm that he do something bad to her. Mm. And he needs to die. Maybe there is time for murder. Oh, yes. Mm. Mm. I mean, uh, what else is there to do tonight? <laughs> <laughs> we did our tours. Nothing going you on. You have hours before your debrief. <laughs> your mission will be a explained. I. And you leave, you have to fly at night because that is when you are effective. Do we know where they, these, first of all, Polchak, we didn't take care of him. 
but also we can go and see if they still have our stuff or they destroy it. Mm. Mm. The other men. Yes, I we want this stuff back. Also, I don't know if it's such a good idea, even though I do not like Polchak. And he has done very bad things, potentially. Maybe. We don't Maybe. know. But we, we don't think. Know. We don't know. But... Krushnik. Huh? His, his name is Krushnik. 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 Krushnik Pola. That's his last Chuck? name. So he's Deputy Polachuk, Zakhar Krushnik. But you guys often call him Krushnik. Krushnik. Zakhar Krushnik? Krushnik, because you're rude assholes, so you don't actually call him by his ah, official title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You call him by his actual last name. That's true, yes, we he's rude assholes. He's wandering around. Yeah. Krushnik, so Krushnik, because he, I believe he's kind of part of Secret Service, kind of, sort of, maybe, yes. If we get rid of him, you know how many other Secret Service come. So many Secret Service. And mm -hmm. then that is worse than being mm -hmm. downed in a fiery plane. Mm -hmm. you know? Okay, fair enough. But what if we blackmail him? I have this a, is good. I have an idea. <laughs> this is good, yes. Have you, all, have you guys read the handbook? Do you know about Articles 58 and 133? I have never read anything. <laughs> I, can, I can't read, but somebody read it to me. <laughs> And what it says is if we Wait, could find... Oh, you are a navigator. You don't read? <laughs> I see pictures. Good. Okay. I don't read. Anyone want to switch? I can't count. <laughs> All, right, all yours. All yours. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Go but ahead. If, you know, if we find evidence, evidence of him undermining the Soviet Union, the great motherland, maybe then, you know, maybe, maybe we pin him for something. I think great idea, but also gay, sexy time pictures of him. Oh. oh, that's good. That's good idea. It'd be yes. fun. That's not, we don't that's, have that's fun. Actually. We're at war. We will get one. I will pay the portrait of him. <laughs> sexy time. So bad news for him. And that I'll is. make him look bad. And <laughs> feel very small. We can put him in like parachute not that underpants. That's bad, but just for him. Not good with that's him. That's a good too. idea. <laughs> yes. Uh -uh. Make him look very nice. <laughs> you, I you, think you know Xenia better than any of us, eh, I think? She would want this. She would want this. Do you think she would have slept with a man or no? Oh, no. No. Not him, no. Not him. Absolutely. Many, so. many others. Apparently, many, many others. <laughs> <laughs> many. <laughs> but how not do, him. How do you feel about this? <laughs> I, she was like Jesus. She spread her love around. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. I, but we should take pictures. I wonder if we should split up. I have two plans. Two plans. Okay, so I, there gets scrounge. Mm -hmm. I can try and find our stuff from the men. Well, you guys try and pin something on Krishnik. I am very good with potatoes. <laughs> is there a part of one that is both potatoes? <laughs> I could use some pillow hair right now. <laughs> okay. And make progies for me. Oh. That could be also planned. I do, I do make very good. Murder is very hungry work. Yes. <laughs> Where would the two teams, what is the plan? I would like to go into men's uh, quarters and see if I can find our stuff and take it. Okay. Maybe pee on bed. <laughs> yeah. Okay, are you planning to make a distraction or how, are you trying to just go in there when there could be potentially other people there? I want to go with. Okay, I think we should make distraction. We could uh, set small fire. Uh, <laughs> we could uh, do a uh, sexy show. <laughs> I'll mm. do sexy show. You do sexy show? <laughs> with potato. <laughs> Look at my potatoes. Yeah, look at my potatoes. This is sexy. But oh, 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 what? She oh. knows it. She knows it. It's not sexy. No, they said they want show tonight. Yeah. Right? We, to create a distraction. We, that's, we, we do a show for them. Yes. I slip in because, you know, I tap dancing very bad at it. I, <laughs> not good. I can do a shuffle ball change. That's it. Um, <laughs> So I sneak in while you do a sexy show for men and make it then think they're winning because they ask for show. Mm. Yeah. And I go in, make a pee on the bed, <laughs> take our stuff. <laughs> hurrah, hurrah. We now, have vodka. What about second plan? How do you oh. Second plan. I think second plan. We think we need to find uh, uh, Krushnik's quarters maybe. And we need to find, we need some find, or maybe, or uh, Xenia's. We need to find some evidence. 
then yes, we could look, but all of this stuff is gone. Oh, yes. Yeah. Go to Christmas. And I don't think drunk. we would find letters or anything because this mm. is not very, this is not romance. Well, then we need to go to his quarters. I mean, we need to look for something. Maybe, you know, maybe he is a spy. Who knows? Maybe he is maybe. German spy. Yeah. Ah. We need to look for uh, we'll find something. The lady does protest too much about the gay thing. Yeah. Mm. As they always do. Maybe we need to pin something on him. And, or maybe you no, know, maybe we find sexy photo. Who knows? Maybe we don't maybe have he's to already do. done sexy or photo. Or I write German letter, put in plant face. <laughs> Love. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, let's go through it. Skill I have, yeah. But I could quickly acquire. <laughs> You're very like. smart. You're Raven. Very smart. Mm -hmm. I'm Pigeon. I'm Scrappy. <laughs> okay, so you have two plans. The first one is to have the pilots head to where the men are <laughs> yeah. occupying some spacious quarters. Ah, very fun. comfortable. Uh, they have lots of room, and you're going to make a show. Mm -hmm. And our other two ladies are working to work their way to the Politruck's own room. Yes. Okay. Do you want me to write a small incriminating letter for you? Do you speak German or is Hello, it just pretend German? Hello, my name is German? Hitler. You do good work. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for sexy photos. <laughs> Thank you for the sexy photos. You are a good spy. Too bad no one knows. <laughs> Perfect. Now sign his name. X, X, O, your secret lover. Oh, Hitler, yes. um, person who ran Germany. Here you go. Hey, kids. I'll put that. Sound X, O, X, O. X, O, X, O. X, O, X, O. <laughs> <laughs> it's the new Gossip Girl. It's really bad. Oh my god. Watch that show, folks. That's Gossip Girl. Yeah. Yeah. Like the German. Oh, Thank you. Hitler. Oh my god. Hitler. <laughs> Hitler. Oh my god. <laughs> XOXO Hitlers. And you create a reasonable facsimile of something. Yes. Um, okay. Not this, what I just. That was just a joke. I'm actually good at this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you for sexy photo as real line. Thank you for sexy photo. I like very much. I love your dairy spot pee pee. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I won't tell you one wink. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I and I go with uh, with you. Okay, yeah, let's go. Uh, I don't think they're going to believe that I want to do this show for them. I go in, I go in. You go hard, I'll be like, oh, I, I'm, I'm sad about this, I'm pout. Yes, I will break my mop because it's my dancing partner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna come back to that actually. <laughs> <laughs> Heading down the hallways, you pass a few other offices on your way. So you're passing by the regiment commander's office. You wanted to talk to her? Sounds like she's in. Not too far along the hallway, the doctor's also in. His door's always open. And you keep going. Who do, who do you think we should talk to? One of these people probably knows something about this. I don't know which one, but one of them probably does. Have I, I've told them what I learned from the doctor already, right? I mean, that's why we know. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. so, yeah. 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 He might be more drunk and more willing to talk at this point. You have a good point. Maybe so. He's been partying all night. Like yeah. The truth serum in him. Yeah. Maybe we go see doctor first. Okay. You know that it's not too much farther past these offices to get to the office of the Politruck. Mm -hmm. But you stop at the doctor's. Entering in, he is playing a different record. But he has music on. He's sort of slowly toddling across the room having another drink, and it looks like he probably just finished stitching someone up because a very embarrassed mechanic pulls his trousers up when he sees the two women enter the room. Uh, pulls his trousers up, toddles off, thanks the doctor as he leaves. Jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> we got them. Yes. Uh, <laughs> tell us everything. <laughs> and, the, and the doctor looks... Okay, you have bullet on, bullet wound, fire, sharp thing hit you, time of month, <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> well, we're looking for information. About, I know lots of things, you know? And he points to his degrees on the wall. <laughs> I was very f famous doctor. 
I could be at home, I could be in Moscow. I could be doing good work, but no, I'm out here with you. Hmm. I want to reach out to him. You know, you, you, you've got all these pieces of paper that I can't read, but they look very impressive. The paper is very nice. <laughs> you, you could have been doing things more important than this, but instead there are people dying because of the Germans who don't need to be dying. They shouldn't have bullets. People want men to have bullets in their bodies. It's ridiculous. You're, you're a talented man, I assume. You can read, I can't. <laughs> and you're here. I'm sorry for you. I'm also sorry for, for me. Roll reach out. I'm still very concerned that my navigator cannot <laughs> read. <laughs> Good luck. Okay. It's all luck. <laughs> you are luck. I think I'm that's... just really dyslexic, but they didn't know that's what that was. Oh, you know, okay, okay. probably. You're good at reading the stars. Yeah. yeah. And your bird? I'm an owl. Oh, you are the owl. He's not super responsive and isn't sure that he understands what you're really getting at and feels a bit confronted by the two of you and suddenly awkward in the space. You're marked. Oh, Take a point no. of mark. Point of mark. And in order to get out of this situation with him, tell him a story of your home because he shared with you and feels very uncomfortable in this moment. My home is this very simple place. We lived back in cabin, you know. You go out every day, you try to get food. My husband hunted, I hunted. I didn't think there was more to life than that. But you, your life is not like that. Your life is not like mine. You've seen part of the world. You've met people, you've accomplished things. For me, I come to this war. I have nothing to do in war but die. But but that is not the same for you. There is reason for you to live. So I am sorry to see you here. I miss the city. I miss the music and the people. I miss being clean. I miss the things that are supposed to come to me because I am doctor. I am healer. I am bringer of life into the world. And instead I have to see it die before me every day and I should be delivering your babies not watching the light go out from your eyes or you don't come home all the time I'm sorry to hear this from you but you didn't come for my sad stories did you come to drink Always. <laughs> he, puts a, he puts a glass out for each of you and totally drunkenly pours very, very full glasses for all three of you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dezenia. Porzenia. Now, you're here to talk to me about your friend. She spoke very highly. She was a very dear friend to us. We're very saddened by her loss. And we just wanted to know, since you always took such nice care of her, if there's anything more that you can tell us about what happened to her, about what was happening with her relationships here. Was she being forced into anything against her will? No. She want to protect everyone. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to save you all. Save us from what? The Germans or something else? I don't know. We're only asking because we have heard rumors, not so much rumors, but told directly <laughs> that we're being marked for a suicide mission tonight and it's being orchestrated to wipe us out. But aren't all your missions like, I mean, yeah, I've seen more you. More or less. You all, you know, you cheer each other on. 
You get in those planes every night. I mean, every mission's suicide. That's fair, but this is a sure thing. We won't survive tonight. Not with that attitude. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, ladies. You're going to go out and do your thing. You always make it back. Don't you think that if you could help us even a little bit, then you'd want that? How pregnant was she? How many months? Just enough to know, for sure. But she loved you. And it wasn't a lot of suitors. <laughs> it was to save you, she said. What did she mean by that? didn't ask. I don't ask. And when someone asks me who came to have a drink with me today, I don't know. Because I don't <laughs> ask. Just here to help. And he looks quickly like he has less and less ability to stand up straight and to give you the information that you need. You have a hole left over, so... I can give you a final piece of information if you want from him. Um, yeah. And he kind of leans into the two of you, very tipsy, barely holding it together. You look like you're gonna have to go sit him down soon. And he says, you know, the, the ball that struck Krishnik. Uh, I don't think he's long for his position. And I think he's doing anything to save it. And he needs to scapegoat and find something good or they'll let him go. And also, I suspect the major might have had a little bit of interest in him. And she was upset mm -hmm. when he only had eyes for someone else. Major, uh, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, let me get, let me make sure I have that name right. She is, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, Katarina Volkov? Katarina Volkov, your mm. regiment commander. Mm. Her office is close by. <laughs> and we return as you leave the uh, drunken doctor's office, putting a blanket over him as he crashes to the ground on one side. <laughs> you've collected a bunch of info, and you can either go now to talk to or search the office of, if she's not still there, your commander head of the base, or to find out if Krishnik's space is open or occupied. But over where the men are hanging out, we have two ladies. <laughs> One brought a broom, <laughs> and the other brought her positive attitude, <laughs> <laughs> because she has a plan. <clears throat> Quickly discuss between the two of you before you enter the space where all the men are. It's rowdy in there, they're having a good time. Maybe they have a different opinion about what they're up to tonight because among the women, it's very somber. Mm. Um, as I was trying to explain to you, you know, the history of broomsticks and witches, but mm. anyway, in later times. I'll okay, tell you. okay. It's so, a lot of information. <laughs> yes, so, plan. I think I go in and I'm going to be like, oh, can you help me with my dance? I want to do good, or something like this. I don't know. And then. Yeah, you maybe I break something because I fall dramatically. And uh, I come in, I don't know what you think. Maybe I like the idea that you're saying you're prepping for. I think you should say like, uh, we want to put on a good show for you. And yeah. but I am very bad dancer. Anybody good dancer uh, here to help me? me? Yeah, and I'm looking for partner. Who's it going to be? Yes, and then um, just get them all very distracted. Maybe you, you always have vodka. You could, you know. Look at them up a bit. I sneak yeah. in back way, keep them towards front. I sneak in back way, see what I can find. 
Yes. Maybe wardrobe malfunction could happen. Or maybe you pop one boob. Just one. Party boob. Absolutely. One party boob. <laughs> pop a party boob. Uh, cause oh. big stir. Say that you maybe be like, oh, I don't like uh, the girls in my, you know, bunk are, oh, yeah. oh, they're, so, they're no fun. They're, they're such no party fun. daddies. Yes. I want to have fun. I they're like all it. lesbians. And I'm, you know, be like, oh, I'm so straight. Look at my boob. <laughs> You know? This is good point. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Okay, so well, we're going to find out how this attempt at party boob goes after we take a short break. <laughs> 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 and ladies, let's refresh. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. We're here on Filthy Quest Line with our game, Night Witches. And we are currently in day. We are in Special Sky of Russia. You are all women of the 588th Night Bombing Regiment. And you are at the base. You've split into two groups. You two are currently entering where the 218th Men's Regiment has joined you. And you're attempting a little subterfuge to look for some items of personal importance that were stolen from you earlier today. You suspect it was the guys who took your medals too. And then we've got another group split apart, going through the offices in the base. We're going to come back to the two who are traveling through the office level and start off with our two who are attempting their deception. I'd like to start... Oh, you have your mask on, love. Oh. <laughs> We're not going in that deep of a mission. <laughs> it's for all of the, you know, chlorine gas. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Important. Um, I'd like, before we go in, to do our special Varia Galia handshake. Oh, yes. Our very complicated yes. special Varia Galia handshake. This is a very good idea for luck. For luck. Ready? Yep. One, two, two three. three. Hey. Yay. That was so perfect. And we were in sync the whole time. It. And we can absolutely repeat that. E every time. <laughs> every do it. time. Oh, I'm so glad we <laughs> spent hours practicing that. You walk, in, you walk into where the men are hanging out. And although the women that you've been interacting with throughout the base have been working very hard, they've been assigned chore duty, some of them, like yourselves, or they are working on repairing their planes, or they are in classes studying to become better pilots and navigators. The men are not doing this. They're hanging out. They have food, snacks, drink. They have music playing. This is why I'll never marry. <laughs> We're supposed to be hiding. Oh, sorry. Bye. You recognize upon entering the space that some of the music that's playing you've heard before. <gasps> don't, don't. I know. Wait. Then attack. Ah, wait. Okay. <laughs> right. So I'm going to open the door and I'm going to say, Ah, dobry vieci. I say, good evening, hello, comrades. And then I'm going to <laughs> say, oh, it's so boring. All of these chores and the other women, they don't want to practice the dance with me. I thought it was such a good idea to have a dance competition, but no one wants to practice with me and no one wants to be my partner. Can I please have somebody help show me how to do this special waltz? <laughs> the special waltz. Uh, that very well known dance. <laughs> from waltz. Translated from the original Russian. <laughs> Probably sounded better. <laughs> uh, I would count this as an act up. Oh, right. Mm. You're probably uh, right. You are, you are attempting to be ladylike yes. and demure. Uh, you know, in all the ways that you think will attract the right attention. So you'll roll your d6s and add any guts. Ah, I got five, five, and my guts plus one, 11. Boom! I'm so hot! <laughs> <laughs> Darling. <laughs> can we get Darling. that on a clip that we can just play back forever? <laughs> Post. Oh, you are smoking. 
when you enter this room. So you can pick two from the list. Handshake. They'll do what you want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ensure no consequences. Or add to the mission pool. I would... Oh... Mm. I would like to get them to do what I want and ensure no consequences this time around. Yeah. Okay. It's mad. So, they're enamored with you. Very quickly, all of them are rushing over to you. Some of them are offering to help you with whatever you need. You know, set up a space. They start to clear beds and other sorts of furniture out of the way to make a space for you to dance. And they quickly run over with their record player mm. to set it up there. And there's a stash of records that oh, they're pulling from. Oh, this is such nice music. Where did you get this? <laughs> they get very excited about the performance. Mm -hmm. They don't necessarily answer the question because clearly we own, <laughs> we own much music. We have many things to share with you. <laughs> they're so excited. They also bring over alcohol. Okay. And um, one of the things I'm going to say, okay, okay, for this game, I need to pick my partner, but there's a special game we'll play, and it is vodka versus vodka, and I need a bear. I need, does anyone have anything carved? I, this requires a bear, symbol of Russia. Come, come, this is important for the game. I need a bear, put on the record. Come, 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 vodka versus vodka is a game. Bear was still there, it was just broken. <laughs> 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 You, you, hear the you hear the voice of your friend. Wait, fuck. The, the bear was still. Nope, we saw that. It was we broken. saw that bear. Um, I need it. Um, it's kind of like invocation. It's to support from people back home with the vodka. I need pictures of. And people. they start to scramble. Lots of them have pictures of sweethearts from back home, and they want to, you know, yeah. show you. And of course, you know, you're so much better looking. She's. She is swine. Swine compared to your glorious usage. <laughs> and then they are quite distracted. Great. I am going to sneak in the back. <laughs> and I know they've moved beds and stuff out of the way. So uh, is there anything I'd recognize from the particular man I pissed off, like for his jacket or like where I know his station would be? Eyeball. Eyeball? So roll to look for stuff. Oh, okay. um, Yeah. Roll your 2d6s. Yeah. You can add skill. Uh, my skill is minus one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Oh shit! Nine with the you minus one. You have inspiration, one. so you can try. Although that's not that bad with a minus one. Mm. No, I'm gonna keep it. I think I need my inspiration for later. Okay. <laughs> We're all saving it. You still get. You still get the answer to what you're looking for. Okay. Okay, and you can spot, it's definitely uniforms that you're noticing first because you would recognize those two assholes from earlier mm -hmm. and the way that they move and what they were wearing. And they have taken off their jackets, but they're still wearing their medals of valor, because mm. of course they are. And you spot that their jackets are tossed over some beds and suitcases and duffel bags and a bunch of other stuff in, the, in a corner, and they are obviously entertained by your friend. Mm -hmm. So, just double checking, we remember their names. They are... Fedorov. <laughs> yes, so you can notice, you can read the labels on their, on their jackets and all of their items now. It is Dominic Fedorov and Andre. Balakin. You can see more of those things with their initials as you search through all of their stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so yeah, I would like to like focus on those two guys' stuff because I, I know it's them. And I'd like to scrounge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> While you're rolling your scrounge, you are continuing. Yeah. <clears throat> I would say, Kruta, Kruta, class! I'm cheering everyone on for being so amazing at their dancing. And uh, um, I'm saying, okay, you have won vodka versus vodka. The rules, I don't know, but I know you won because you are Kruta. And now you are my dancing partner and show me your best waltz. There's a prize. They 
completely believe everything you're saying. They're also so flattered. <laughs> of course they are winners, mm -hmm. and you are a loser because you are a woman. Um, they have defeated you again, and they drink, and they continue partying. Your scrounge. My scrounge. I rolled a seven. Okay. On a seven with your scrounge. Now, I'm gonna assume you're going against the rules and you are searching through everything. Oh yeah. If you have a luck bonus, you would add it. I, I don't. don't. That's okay. Um, just for us as we're practicing. But I am a misanthrope and so it says that I'm, I can scrounge well. Yes, but. you can. Add one. So I got an eight. It's the same category, but it's <laughs> real nice. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, you can choose from the list. It is available to you if you're reading through it as a player. It uh, either attracts unwanted attention, you get poor quality stuff, or what we're going to do in this case, you incur a debt. Mm. So, in the case of looking through things, you do find your personal items and all of your things. But a gentleman notices you, mm. and he puts out his hand. <laughs> Dance with him. Uh, oh, oh, sir, hello. I see you're having dance party. No, I don't want to dance with you. Why not? Obviously. I want you to pay me. Yes. You're going to take these things. Oh, <laughs> I didn't get that. Pay Obviously. you. Pack. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> you have smokes? Oh, I mean, probably. Yeah. What else you got? Uh, I probably have a little flask of vodka. Um, maybe one of one of my medals. Do I have medals? There's nothing on you like that that you. Oh have. right, okay. But he's up for smokes. Okay. And he says, and I mean maybe if you make it back, come find me. Sure. <laughs> I love men. <laughs> so handsome. Uh, you have to give over everything that you have of consumable value. So okay. you have no more cigarettes. You had a little bit of um, other, you had a you know a piece of a chocolate bar. You had some other like good things that you'd been like storing away. Like, right, yeah. I don't keep it a secret. Um, anything you happen to have on you, you've given them everything. And you might owe them a favor. Okay. What's, what's his name? Uh, his name is Ivan, and he looks out at you and your friend, and he says, I mean, you came here obviously on purpose to get your stuff back. Yeah, these guys are assholes. Aren't they, though? They're yeah. such assholes. Such assholes. Yes. Thank you uh, for your discretion. <laughs> yeah. Um, I wouldn't wash everything. Oh. It's been, it's been... Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna come back to you to attempt to liberate the records, which are still not in your possession. Right. After we are out with these things. Air women. <laughs> Do you want to go in the direction of the office of your regiment commander or to the office of the Politruck? What do you think? I think... Katharina might know something. You head towards her office, and then it's actually really useful that you do because you hear a commotion inside. You can hear yelling, screaming. You can hear both Katarina and Paula Truck, mm. Krushnik, and the voice of Oksana. Mm. As you listen in a little bit, or do you want to enter and knock? Oh. Let's listen. Let's listen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As you listen in a little bit, the heated argument is an accusation. So, Oksana is being accused of not representing the motherland and the Red Army with her station. She is not doing her duty, and she is participating in acts unseemly of someone of her role. And she will be currently. Yeah. <laughs> she is currently being told that she will be sent away from the base for psychiatric evaluation. Oh, fuck. Oh. Gay camp. Gay. <laughs> it's 
not as fun as it sounds. You are hearing the news that you'll be losing the leader of your mission tonight. Oh, shit. Oksana is the best pilot of the 588th. And it doesn't sound like the Major has your back. Oh. She completely throws Oksana under the bus. I always knew she wanted Polichok sausage. There you go. <laughs> now Nasty. squash that sausage. <laughs> None for her. None for her. Hmm. Do you want to wait for them? You know the Polichok is in there. I think we should get into his office while he is not in his office. Yes, let's go. Yeah. And we secretly race through the hallways to his office. It's locked. Hmm. Scrounge? I think we can. Try a scrounge to find out if it's something that you can use in order to get into this locked door. Okay. Six. (laughs) You're noticed. Shit. You have inspiration if you want to try your roll again. Or that's not the root in. Hmm? Should I save the inspiration for later? Well, we're missing our best pilot. I should we should in. probably we should. save, yes? Okay. Another option that you have to use, as we learn to play the game, everybody, <laughs> an option that exists in day or night, you've been noticed, but it's someone from the staff. It's someone that you've met before and talked to. They might not like the Paula truck either. <clears throat> someone who's cleaning. Oh. Uh, that person, maybe you can interact with them. You can tempt fate, day or night. Oh yeah. Let's do it. Oh, no one's done that yet. That's exciting. Let's tempt fate. <laughs> Let's tempt this fate. This game is so good. Yeah. It's dangerous to do. You can be marked or take harm if you don't succeed. But if you do, you can potentially make a huge step forward for yourselves. Cool. Let's do it. So. You've been noticed by somebody, and in that moment, you make a decision. You're doing this. You're going to get into this office. Roll your dice. Nine. Attempt fate with a seven, eight, or nine is a success with a cost. So, you clock eyes with the person who's noticed you attempting to get into the door. And it's a woman you've met before and she drops the key (gasps) in the hallway. And she lets it go, but she looks back at the both of you. I want you to do something for me. I want all of the chef's chocolate. (laughs) All of the what? The chef's chocolate. And you guys all know the chef at your base is famous for sneaking in American candy bars. Mm. <gasps> oh, they're so sweet. And everyone is always stealing them. And now it's your job to steal them too. We can do that. We can do. I think. Okay. In addition, <laughs> our lovely sparrow takes a mark. And when you look down at your sheet on the second page, mm. your option for marks. Yes. Oh. Note that you have a premonition of tonight. And you share your premonition with the other navigator. You feel the ghost of Zenya with you. You sense the presence of another downed navigator. And you take that mark knowing that there's a sense that tonight another navigator won't make it home. And it feels very real. But the key sits at your feet. You grab the key, enter the office. You're both inside and you shut the door to make sure that no one else notices you. Back with our other ladies, with the men. Oh goodness. You're partying, the records are playing. How do you want to do this? 
Do you? Can I? You approach, you come over, you're joining the party. Okay. You're there with Ivan. Oh, you're dancing without me. You know I love, I love to dance. I'm very good tap dancer. <laughs> they laugh at you. That's fair. <laughs> Do you have any special skill? I was thinking we could have bets where winner takes records. Do you know? Do you know any games that you are very good at and other people not so good at? Oh, uh, I could play gin rummy pretty good. <laughs> it is long game, but we could play. <laughs> <laughs> it is long game. <laughs> we could game. play. Uh, oh, what am I very good at? Um, we could have drinking contest. We could have drinking contest. Although we have to fly tonight. Oh yeah, that's a bad idea. But uh, maybe water? No, we'll probably get caught. Ginger on me. Play frisbee with records and run away. Uh, we could. Uh, I like this brainstorm. This is fun. Um, uh, There's not a ton of time to have the conversation. <laughs> you're, you're, you're chatting with it slightly loud enough. You've had a little bit. You've had a little bit. Because um, you've come to the to join them, and everybody is drinking, and they hear you're interested in the records. Okay, so I, I notice they're they're interested, and I'm like, okay, time for Plan D, and I just go like, oh, and I I'm just going to have a moment where I'm going to be so ladylike <laughs> that I'm so fragile, and I say, oh, this song it reminds me of someone so special to me, my mother, back at home. She used to sing this song to me when I was a little girl, and I loved it so much. And now it just reminds me of her, and it would make me so happy if I could just have it with me for one night. Or more than one night. <laughs> I'm not very good with <laughs> it. Uh, and immediately, of course, a bunch of them offered to also stay with you for one night. Oh. Uh, this has backfired. This has backfired. <laughs> this has backfired. Um, uh, faint. Faint? Okay, good job. I, oh, oh, I did not hear this. Oh, <laughs> oh no, she fainted. Someone get the doctor. Someone got the doctor. <laughs> uh, and there's a bit, of, a bit of a rush around and in the confusion. So how well do you sell this act out? Uh, I must, I must roll for it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, also, uh, roll an act up, because you are about to attempt to steal sure the am. records. <laughs> sure am. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh, uh, no. oh no. no. Oh no. <laughs> one ladylike roll and one hooligan. <laughs> wow. Uh, I got five. I'll also let you do a scrounge for that. You can add one if it gets you into the seven to nine category. It sure does not. Okay. Oh, we did not do so well. Could, maybe I'll use my inspiration. Do you think I should? No. No. Uh, no. No. We're no. going no. to need for the mission. Maybe. Let's just no. have the concert. So the men laugh. <laughs> they know it's just a tease. A bunch of them <laughs> scoop you into their arms and they are dancing with you. And it is handsy. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, the party is very raucous, and you see your friend uncomfortable. Uh, look over here! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Party boobs! Party, party boobs! Boob. <laughs> I can't believe the thing that's gonna come out at night, which is gonna be party boobs. <laughs> oh my god, you guys! <laughs> also come out. It's amazing! Okay, so uh, you flash them, they're yeah. very distracted. Run! <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, do you grab the records? Yes. Okay. So just straight roll your d6s, and I'll tell you how much you get away with. Okay. What do you mean straight roll? Like just roll the two both d6s oh, okay. and don't add anything else extra. Oh. oh. <laughs> what is it? I'm on it. <laughs> Sick. It's a nine. <laughs> oh, a no. <laughs> no. oh no! Oh no! It's okay if you got a little distracted by the party boobs. You're not <laughs> going to die. Boobs. Okay, so <laughs> I got two. Ooh. That's really bad. Wow. Total. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> she doesn't make it out. Oh, <laughs> really? You distracted do, by and the you party have. Boobs. <laughs> you know they are your navigator's favorite records. 
You have two of them with you. Three or four of them were stolen, but you managed to get the two that were most important to her. Okay, I'd like to- But when you turn around and you're running away laughing, we did it, she's not with you. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay, back in the office of the Paula truck. <laughs> the party boots are too much. <laughs> I really swooned. I actually swooned. <laughs> Inside yeah. the office of the Paula truck, you have a potentially incriminating note from Hitler or something. I do. Uh, what else would you like to do? It is a... <laughs> Forgot about that. XO, XO. <laughs> Hitler. A man who runs in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> okay, inside the office, it is clean, organized, very formal. Um, and there are case files on the desk with all of your names on them. Oh. Mm. Have to look through those. Burn them. I think we should look through those. I'm just curious, honestly. <laughs> okay. Uh... They all say that they have similar reports on each of you, that you are insubordinate. Yeah. <laughs> that you are rude to your commanding officers. Mm-hmm. Fair. Mm-hmm. Um, but it says you kill a lot of Germans. Oh, yeah. I'd say this, I'd say this guy, he's got us figured out pretty good, actually. <laughs> Not bad. Never mind. <laughs> he recommends that the problem is your major. Oh, interesting. Oh. Mm. He speaks very highly of the navigators in particular in your unit. And a Catherine is being thrown under the bus right now. Mm-hmm. Oh. Now, of the other things in the office, you can po- you can find that there is a very important note that he is supposed to return. He has a specific request that the the visit of the Lieutenant General go very well. And if it doesn't, he should act on it. It seems vague and suspicious. Like, what does that mean? Is there a way we can investigate further what that means or? Yeah, roll an eyeball. And we'll see okay. if you can dig through for some extra records. And then on your end, scrounge <coughs> through mm-hmm. the office to look for other okay. good stuff. Six, so no. In fact, Wait. you find other documents. You find a lot of information. You find love letters. Do we get to add? I know the, the previous eyeballs, we get to add a plus one to things related to that. Can I add that yes. to the six? Yes. Does that put you in the seven to nine? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you'll be able to ask a question, and we'll answer some questions about your information. But you do still find those love letters to Zenya tucked into some odd places? <laughs> uh, I got a three. <laughs> so. Uh, so when you scrounge around the room looking for useful stuff, there's actually, it is relatively spotless. And you actually stumble also upon one of those letters, and they're very one-sided. And you get completely distracted and don't complete the rest of your investigation through the room. Mm-hmm. He's noting things about her and her appearance that you also loved about her. Mm-hmm. And on your end, mm-hmm. he clearly has some instructions that he might be an assassin as well. They might be what? An assassin as well. So if the major isn't going to step down, or take responsibility, then maybe he should make sure she's not the major anymore. I see. We're sending her away to a deadly asylum. Yeah. He's sending, they're they're sending Oksana away Mm -hmm. and the major is going to cover her own butt for any incompetencies that the inspection reveals. Right. We're having a really intense <laughs> rain and hailstorm, it sounds like. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> and do not want to fly in this. This is going to be such shit later for us. Oh. Yes. oh my god. Can you Hello? guys hear that at home? <laughs> oh my goodness. 
Wow. Okay. Yeah. How bad is it? Uh, I say. Oh no, I can't say. I can only say good in Ukrainian. Dobre, dobre, dobre. Wow. Oh my God. Dobre. Oi. Хорошо. Okay then. I can't say bad either. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good on my list. I can say why. It's trouble. Trouble. Do we take the letters? Okay. Yeah. You take all the letters. Yeah, it's a... Um, we should leave the letter, I think. The black, you know, the incriminating note. We should probably lo- oh, leave I that. I figured we skimmed them already, but... Yeah. Your other option is potentially uh, rat him out to the major. Does, does the major outrank him? That sounds, that sounds like a good idea to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hearing it sounds pretty good. Can our audience hear us okay, Sam? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, talk yeah, louder. Yeah, talk louder. Talk louder. Over the uh, intense storm. And yeah. that storm actually hits you guys tonight, too. Actually, oh. at your base. Oh, oh no. Oh. Fixed. We have a redemption for war. What is it good for? And it brings a storm for your night mission tonight. Is this Jumanji? What the heck? Like, <laughs> it's like easy. World War II, Jumanji, very similar. Yeah. So similar. <laughs> so similar. Same thing. Okay. So you can try to leave the letters or take the letters to turn him in or just leave the note, the, the German incriminating evidence to try to make him look like a spy. Or you can also try to reveal some of his hi- hidden uh, nature. Or you can leave it be and deal with it later. I would like uh, revealing his hidden nature yeah. sounds pretty good. I don't yes. know how. I don't know what I'm rolling for. That how exactly. do you reveal his hidden nature? But I think I like that so, idea. So take what you have mm-hmm. to the major's office. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. You bring it to her. Let's go. And he's in the room with her when you approach. And we'll come back to that. You're in the hallway by yourself. <laughs> oh my god. And I realize that she's not with me. Um what's what's around me? It's just a hallway. Yeah. And through two large large doors we back into the room where the party is happening. There's they put on a fresh different new record. There's music, there's shouting, screaming. Good screaming, fun screaming. No, nothing like that. They are they are dancing. It sounds okay, like they're not only dancing. Okay, um, I'm going to based on that sounds. I don't want to leave her there, but I think she has time before anything bad might happen. So I'm gonna run uh, with my records to back to our bank um, and see if uh, my fellow people are there because I wouldn't know that they're not there yet. They're not there. Okay, so I'm gonna put the records down and all the stuff. Um, and um, I'm gonna grab um, a pocket knife and run back just in case. <laughs> You do that. Uh, and you're dancing. I'm dancing. But they are, they won't let you go. They, you, they toss you from one partner to another partner and they continue dancing and they're trying to feed you alcohol. They are continuing with their party. And I am playing along because I don't know what else to do. So I am dancing a lot and I'm just laughing and saying, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome! Kruta! And I'm dancing and dancing um, and just kind of eyeing the exits trying to see if I can find a way out. Um, also getting increasingly intentionally clumsy seeing if I can stumble someone um, so that I can make a little exit. Um, question. When I'm running back, like, are there any offices, like, is Oksana's office near? Is it in a completely different building like is there anybody around that um, i can grab the space where oxana would have been like with her quarters and stuff yeah yeah you there's no one in there okay you run past an open door okay so there's no one around no she's been taken to the barracks are there uh, any sorry, not the barracks the um holding holding cell is the mean cook still in the kitchen you could probably find her there yeah i'm gonna grab her she has wooden spoon she could help Get the chocolate. Get the oh. chocolate. <laughs> huh? Get the chocolate. Get the chocolate. <laughs> so you bring an ally. Yeah, 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 yeah. And back with the two of you. 
not gonna enter or just storm in? Storm. Storm in. <laughs> storm in. <laughs> That's Vedna's. <Venice>. Shocked. <laughs> you have your major, your regiment commander, and deputy Krishnik. And they are both looking at you. You have not been summoned. What? Oksana has been removed from her post. Her navigator will lead the mission tonight. Go. You're going to let this man do this to you? Really? You're going to let him reject you and then throw you under the bus for this? Is this what you're good for? She looks at you both. I believe that you speak above your station and you should leave. Hmm. Um, options, you could reach out to her. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Okay, so when you do reach out as a move, roll your dice. Seven. Can we both try? You can both reach out, yes. Um, from a seven to nine, you can remove harm, change your guard, or add to the mission pool. Uh, add to the mission pool. Six. Uh, I would suggest, learning rules, that you should do it from a point, at a point of regard, and make your case for Xenia. Who you help in high regard. <laughs> so when you communicate with the major, mm -hmm. discuss your former lover. And then you can add one for that regard. That will also give you a mission pool add. Okay. Okay. She's listening to you both. What do you add to the conversation? We have to speak to you and we have to find out. And also tell you how much we love Venya. How much I love Venya. She's everything to us. So special to us. We can't even tell you. Especially coming from someone who has no family. This loss is terrible. The loss of any of us would be terrible. And we are worried about you as well. That something terrible is going to happen. Not just I to you, but to all of us. Believe that you don't know what you're talking about. Major Volkov, that is how you should address me. And you're speaking to me like equals, like peers. That is not the case. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are better than us. You are better than him too. And yet you let this man treat you like less than him, less than even us. This man wants you sent away Dangerous and you treat you like that? Dangerous words, woman. You're speaking to a representative of your country. We don't mean any disrespect to you. Why do you bring up Zenia? The loss of her is terrible. This man got her killed and worse. And worse. Yeah. He, he, he took something from her. He hurt her in a way that nobody should be hurt here. Be blunt, ladies. She steps back from the apology. Mm -hmm. She looks at Krushnik, having interacted with him enough to be suspicious of him, especially when it comes to the woman you're speaking of. Mm -hmm. Be blunt, ladies, now is the time. You fly tonight, this could be the last time we talk. Look, I am crude mountain woman. I am able to say things maybe that my more polite comrades no, should not say. And so I will say it, that you had regard for this man. This man, he has got eyes for somebody else. He had eyes for, for Zenya. And Zenya did not have eyes for him. And so he, he took her. He raped her, we believe. And she was with child. He's 
immediately like, it's not like that. It's not like that. We had relationship, but not like that. Doesn't matter to the major though. She looks at the two of you. I think I have enough to know. And I think the Lieutenant General and I will have a conversation with our comrade, with Krishnik. And she looks at him in a way that you haven't seen him look, her look at him before. And I don't think we will need this particular politic officer at the base anymore. She excuses the two of you with her look. Go to your debrief. Tonight will be hard. She sends you away. In the hallway, you have the chef with you, you're running through the halls. Yeah, I, I know there's not time to explain a bad word, but my friend, and you're very scary. I think you're very nice, but you're, uh, you're, you're, what is, you're, you're very tough, and I need a little backup. <laughs> and you said they have my chocolate bars. Yes, they have all your chocolate bars. They took all they of them. They will get such a lashing. <laughs> yes, they took all of them, and we need, we need to act fast. So go in there and give them everything Mother Ash has given you, you know? Whatever that means. For the motherland! Yeah. For the motherland! And she reaches it, she just bursts the door open and she just starts slapping all of them with these wooden <laughs> spoons. And she's like, bad boys! You're all bad, bad boys! You take my chocolates! And she's just laying into all of them. You are immediately free. Yeah, I go like immediately to her and grab her. I'm like, Let's go! Quick! Quick! <laughs> Uh, and the one that you were talking to earlier notices that you have a knife with you? Uh, uh just the floor, uh, just, uh... Peeling potatoes. Before the pota oh, we have so many potatoes peeled. I love potatoes! <laughs> <laughs> run! <laughs> and you run out, and he's, he just, like, has way more respect for you. So he's just like... <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> See you later. Uh, okay, and you run out of the room, and you can still hear the commotion behind you as she continues to whip them with the wooden spoon. <laughs> Honestly, best case scenario. <laughs> Very good work. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're all late for debrief. Oh shit! Oh. oh. Uh, we. I'm like faster, faster, faster! Come on. Run, run, run. Uh, and we, we we run to debrief. Mm hmm Yep. As you arrive, it is. An assignment change. Mm. What? Huh? Of course oh. it is. Should chill? Suddenly, chum. Katya, a new pilot, is assigned as your section leader in place of Oksana. Where is Oksana? Oksana is taken away. She'll not be attending. You will probably never see her again. Oh, well. Good chance, you know, they will convict her. They will determine she's insane. And she'll be sent off to a mental institution. Is she still on the base? Yeah, she's in the brig. Oh. She's not your concern right now. Right now, you're ready for your assignment for tonight. Tonight we fly. All of the men are resting tonight. They don't fly because tomorrow they will do an airdrop to Malaya Zemla, a beachhead near Novo Orsisk. But your mission tonight is something very different. In that same area, there's a fuel dump, Krimskaya, and a rail yard. The Germans are there, and they are refueling. And we need you, the three planes, to fly. You will head that direction. One of you in the lead. That will be Katya. Then, she will start her attack run with her navigator. And then they're like looking in, pick someone new out. You're flying with a plane you don't know. Women you haven't flown with before. In a plane that hopefully was repaired today. You left Mikhail with that task. It is on the Black Sea. You will be flying towards them, but low altitude is a suicide mission. You'll need to be precise. The very challenging part is getting away. 
Once you achieve the mission and you bomb the fuel yard, it will light up the sky. When you light up the sky, the Germans will see you. Oh, fuck. So expect anti-aircraft weapons and expect that they will launch their own fighters at you. You'll be chased all the way home. They have spotlights. And they have German FW-190 fighters. This is your mission tonight. Through the rain, your challenge to navigate will be more challenging than ever. But I know that you women and the 588th, you are the true heroes at this base. And you don't need fucking medals to put on your uniforms. And you don't need to smile. Because you know in your hearts that tonight you're going to do what you were born to do, and you're going to flood the fuck out of these planes. <laughs> Tack! <Ta -ac. laughs> do it for the motherland. And do it for whoever you left at home. And all women around the room start to say names of people they left at home. And many of them are saying the names of their children, and they're here because they're not alive anymore. And what do you share? I don't have any names to say because they're all gone. That's why I'm here. I'm here for my sister, Masha. She is a life bringer. She is a healer. She's a kind soul and she gives to everyone. And I wish I could be half as good as she is. I did this for my sister, Sonia. She's a real bitch, but I love her. <laughs> and for my nephew, Mikula, who will be born a better man than any of us. I don't have family, and the only one who showed me kindness when I was alone was Verdania and told me how to read the crystal so I could make money. She's a very old. I would like to return to her and take care of her. Do this for her. A few of the other ladies around the room look at you. Your sisters. We're in this together. We don't have to make it back tonight to succeed. What we need to do is leave this bomb right where the Germans think they can laugh at us. We're going to bomb this fuel yard so close to this current base, right on the edge of the war between us. They took our airfield and they are laughing at us. They're taking this train yard and they think that they can occupy all of Russia and we will stop them. You will stop them because we are the Night Witches. We are the Miss Night Witches. <laughs> night Witches. Party boob. <laughs> we'll do it for the party boob. We do it for the party boob. We do yeah. it for the party boob. We do the party boob. We do it for each other, even if there is no one at home. We do it for each other. Mm. And we do it for Zendaya. Zendaya. Zendaya! Zendaya! All of you are walking towards your planes. Sparky. Ah, Sparky, old bastard! Here we go again! <laughs> She's not looking too bad, right? Ah, she looks great! We repair them, that's very nice. good job Sparky, there! Sparky, never been better, eh? Uh, Ivan and Mikhail, way to go! Way to go, we get them so much chocolate later! Oh, excellent! <laughs> and on your end, the Banshee. Banshee, you're going to scream for us. She right? she's going to scream really good, I think. <laughs> she's going to make them scream. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. You 
you brushing up on your reading skills? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think I recognize the numbers at least. Oh, good. We'll be we'll be I think we'll live probably. You know, Maybe. you've in been the... great this whole time, so I think <laughs> we were fine before I knew this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. In the front of each plane as as you as you get in, the pilots, and in the back with your maps, the navigators. <laughs> your other plane in front of you, led by the new team members. And they look out at you and they nod. They know you don't recognize them. They're not Oksana. Your new pilot, she's not that person, but she's here for you. She lead the way. The first mission, the first part of the way this works for the Night Witches is that on the first approach, we'll wayfind our way there, so we'll rely on our navigators. Then the lead plane will attempt a run. Your job is to distract the German enemy fire in your two planes. After that, you each take a turn doing a run and dropping bombs. And then we need to get home. We start in the night sky. The rain is pouring, the wayfinding, the navigator's job more challenging than ever. You've actually had to travel over water before. This is some of the hardest navigation work you've ever done in your lives. We have a small mission pool. Let's wayfind our way there, our planes, and then the plane that I'll run. Everybody roll your d6s. And our wayfinders will add skill. So pilots don't roll. Oh, good. Oh, sorry. Oh. Good. The, very the navigators good. will wayfind. <laughs> Great. Good. That's very good. <laughs> I have rolled amazing for the lead plane. So very lucky. So I will add, you can each add one. You're following behind the new plane. Well, the old plane, because you recognize her burnt ass. <laughs> Okay. What are the roles for our wayfind? Five. I'm actually going to use intense navigation as an owl and take a mark instead of my roll. Okay. Add a mark. You're marked twice. Okay. You can take from the mission pool to get you. Huh? Okay. So what was your roll? Five? Five. Take two from the mission pool. That boosts you to a seven. Now, your plane can have a mechanical failure, okay. trigger enemy fire, or you each take harm. The more points of harm you accumulate, the closer you are to death. Hmm. Mechanical failure. Old Sparky Sparks. Ah, oh, yeah, she does. Uh, classic. She's putting on a show tonight. <laughs> She's putting on the show. Behind you, your navigator is attempting to put out a small fire. Ah, um, the classic old wild Sparky goes, eh? It happens. Can I repair? Yes. Thank you. You're doing great. <laughs> I'm good at that, apparently, as a protector. Not really. Six doesn't work. Your plane is slightly on fire as you travel, and it stays that way. It's a little Shit. fire. Shit. It's just a little fire. It's just a little bit on fire. It's scotch. It's scotch. <laughs> on this side, wayfind. So you've taken a mark instead? Mm-hmm. Um, did, did you add the one for the, the plane in front of you? Five, six. Oh, yeah, we did. Never. For the we're repair? Good. Yeah, we're good. Okay, okay no. so we're all en route. Slightly on fire, but we're, we're traveling all the way. Southwest, towards the Baltic Sea, at the edge of, between land and water, the train yard, and you approach. The first pilots will make their attack run in the plane in front of you. The rest of you, navigators, roll as you take enemy fire.
You're distracting the anti-aircraft German artillery from the first attack run to bomb this field dump and train yard. We don't have guns aboard. We just have bombs, right? <laughs> That's correct. Okay. The only weapon that you each have with you is a pistol, and your officers tell you to save the last bullet for yourself. Wow. Okay, what are our enemy fire evasion as our navigators? Six. Eight. Do you want to steal a mission pool point? Now, in this category seven to nine, both of the navigators take marks. Yep. Sucks to be a navigator. It's, it's always tough for everyone. <laughs> and the watch lit up by the night sky as the enemy fire hits both of your planes a little bit, along the sides of your biplanes. And the plane in front of you, still taking enemy fire despite your work to attempt to distract the German anti-artillery. They drop their payload. The bombs miss, and you can tell because None of the fuel illuminates because they haven't hit them. And instead you watch small explosions below you that don't light up the sky the way it would if the fuel was actually burning. When their bombs drop, they attract attention. And suddenly the German fire that you were taking is directed all at one plane in front of you. And their only option left is the tempt fate and they roll. Oh my god. <laughs> you watch the plane in front of you take enemy fire and they crash out of the sky. <laughs> and you lose two women of the 588th Night Bomber Regiment. It's possible that one of them might have survived but the plane crashes, and you can barely tell in the rain and the fire below if there's enough of an explosion as their plane hits the ground, that there could have been a survivor, but they definitely don't achieve a wheels down scenario. And they crash behind German lines. Your job is still to make attack runs. Who's first? I'll go first. Slightly on fire, your plane is taking the most enemy fire because you can be seen across the night sky to trail a bit of smoke and the slight fire on board illuminates you. Make your attack run, pilot. You roll your two dice and add guts. Seven. Choose two from the list. You take damage. It's minimal, but it's your fault. You can fly through a storm of flak and trigger more enemy fire the plane can be damaged, or you can both be marked. I think we're going to take damage. Okay, so the plane takes damage. You have to choose a second one on a seven. Oh, shit. It uh, can be marked, or you can trigger enemy fire. I've just... Do we both get marked? Yes. Enemy fire. On enemy fire, Lala rolls. You're going to attempt to dodge and move. They're firing at you. Okay. Roll your dice. Seven. The plane is damaged again. You both take marks. The attack run. You'll be able to come around again if you want to try. The second plane goes. Our pilot in the front of the Banshee makes her attack run. And she rolls and adds guts. Okay. I have 11 total with my guts. 
your payload connects. Suddenly, beneath all of you, huge explosions light across the sky. It looks like the train yard is completely ablaze. Yes. All of the bombs that you've dropped have connected. This mission will be a success no matter who makes it home. Svetlana! Svetlana! She turned backwards to celebrate with her. <laughs> just for a second though, just really quickly. Like really fast. <laughs> really quickly, just really fast. Crawl and you take back. enemy fire. Oh shit. As the sky lights up enough that they can see where you are. Navigate. Eight. I guess, yeah, eight. The enemy fire leaves you unconscious. You've been marked enough. In the back of your plane, you don't get a response from your navigator when you call back to her again. But you can't tell if she's still alive or not. Svetlana. 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 You have a chance to make another run with the last of your payload. Roll an attack run. You have inspiration if you need it. Wow. <laughs> I got 10 with my plus guts, yeah. Amazing! <laughs> Final run. You take the chance. You see an opening. You know that your navigator has your back. And that she's the best fucking person you've ever sat in a plane with. You're the best fucking person I've ever sat in a plane with! <laughs> oh, darling! <laughs> There'll be more sexy times in your future. Yeah! If you make it home, because you succeed. You drop the last bomb. Fuck you, Nazis! It connects. <laughs> And you can scream it out against the sky. Fuck you, Nazi! Sudden light as the explosion gives all of you away. Oh, shit. <laughs> you see German planes. They take to the air behind you. <sighs> You've achieved your mission. You've lost two airwomen. One of you is unconscious. But now you have to try to get home and get away from the Germans that are close behind you. They are also amazing pilots. But and they're they... also Nazis. <laughs> Do we have an extra copy of this letter that I have? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Hitler says! <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out if you can make it back. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so we we'll die. Go. We're gonna have so much sexy times in heaven. <laughs> and if we live, we have so much sexy times on earth. That's right. <laughs> Take enemy fire. Okay. Roll for the navigator. Navigator roll. Seven. Your options are to take marks and be extremely vulnerable. Your plane is damaged enough that you may need to go wheels down. Can we take from the mission pool? What other option? <laughs> uh, you need to get over over 10. You need to get to 10, though. So there's only two left in the mission pool. Uh, shit. Your options are to leave it with your pilot to get you home safe, or you're making a call right now to go wheels down and, take, and help the plane get down. Can I repair? Not in this moment. It's all gonna be your roll, or you're gonna land. I have inspiration. So, get us home, love. Okay, I get us home. And I make so good sexy time for you. Oh. <laughs> You'll never ever forget it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I would like to roll to get my stuff home. Let's give the pilot a chance. Do I do plus guts on this one or no? Yep. Like an attack run, but away from them. 10. Ah! <laughs> Let's go. You make it. Yeah! You escape through them. It's 
an amazing feat between the two of you. You're shouting commands, you know exactly where the German fighters are. You're able to actually fly, you spin. Ah! You've never pulled that move off in the biplane before. Up, down, around, it's amazing. You're watching, but you're feeling that you might not be able to pull off that kind of maneuver, which is one of you in your plane. Mm. <clears throat> Watch them as they skate through. They escape. I'm Their looking. plane is still on fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Sparky. Hey, it's Sparky. It's Sparky, yeah. kids. It's part of the show. Put <laughs> <laughs> on show, Sparky. <laughs> it doesn't matter as much because it is dawn. And you've already given your position away. Tempt fate. Uh, all right. Okay, so I will roll to do this. Roll and add your guts. You're doing this by yourself. Okay, yep. Yeah. And I keep looking back at Svetlana and I'm saying, yes, 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 ah, oh, Svetlana. Okay, um, hmm. I need to get more. Ten. I need to get 10. All right, um, I, if I take inspiration, do I take the better of the two or just the second roll? You can take the better of the two. Okay. Uh, okay, it's an eight. And you can steal the two from the mission pool. Oh, that means another roll? Nope. You can add two. Can oh, add, add two. two. Um, yes, I would like to add those two, please. Sorry, you guys oh. are on your way home already. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> no. No, oh, you take it, take it, take it, take it. Live. Yes, make so it. that makes it ten. Yeah. You're able to escape. Ah, <laughs> we all did it! Ah! Yeah. Germans pursue you. Oh no, fucking Germans. <laughs> Not again. As you watch them chase you, they don't give up. You have an option to act either of you as Vedomea, which is wingwoman, and get in the way of the fire between the planes chasing you and the other plane in front of you. So, but. You can take, you can cover them. Okay. So I could cover myself? You can cover them, or they can cover you. Oh, I see. You've made it through. This is the last run home. Okay, Vetamea. We're taking Vetamea. And you watch as this plane struggles, but gets away, but they keep following. But you guys are on fire. Yeah, but you have oh. no navigator. This is true. It's okay, just small fire. Yes. It's Sparky after all. This Sparky. <laughs> okay, pilots. You need to wheels down. Okay, okay. How do so I do that? You roll your dice and yep. add skill. Oh shit. Bring your planes in. For the motherland! For the land! Oh yeah, baby. I got 11. <laughs> Plus, no, minus skill is minus one. I got 10. Oh no. 10's good. Oh no. A four. Oh no. Oh. oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay. Okay. Can I do anything? No, they are. They did the thing. They let you go in first. Shite. Acting as Shite. a barrier between your plane and the Germans chasing you. Mm. And as you begin your descent closer to your airfield. The Germans are going to turn around, but they take one last shot, one last chance. They fire at your plane instead, as you quickly get in the way to protect the other air women of the 588th. You take enemy fire. Your plane is a fiery wreck. The fire continues to grow. You are all in immediate danger. Your plane crashes. Quite close to your base, though. Oh. Crews will come for you if you survive. Who has the most harm? Or the most marks? I have two marks. I have one. 
We split three harm between you. So... Between you, you'll pull through. You'll never fly again. You've taken a serious injury. And it looks like with the way the collapse of the plane has happened, as you hit the ground, your leg is trapped. You can feel the fire coming around you. Crews are coming to your aid, but you can't feel your legs. Inside your plane, thanks to these two heroes, you're able to land. It's actually amazing. You come in to the rest of the base, women are cheering. Some of the men and mechanics are cheering too. They recognize your payloads are empty. One plane on fire. And quickly the medics rush to your aid to find out if you're both alive. But not answering from the back seat. You came home alone. It's just a pilot in your plane. Is Svetlana gone? You reach out to her, and she's cold. And you remember the broken bear, and you remember all of her stories that she told you about what it was like to be a hunter, and you take that with you for the next time you fly. They pull you from the plane. <laughs> you couldn't tap dance anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never believe my flat ball change. You'll never see it again. It was amazing. <laughs> and they're not sure if they can do a lot of rehabilitation for you. But all of the women from the 588th run to you. You didn't get medals, but your friends are there to carry you. They'll be your legs. Together, you arrive back at the base. And you've completed your mission. Because you're the Night Witches. Thank you for playing with us today, everybody. This has been an amazing experience. And I am just overjoyed that I got to share this game. And I hope that other people are interested in trying it out like we did today. Uh, it's been a fun <gasps> and wild ride, and it's a really challenging thing to jump into historical fiction. And I just need to commend all of the players today for being so delightfully ambitious and embracing the people that we're telling the story for and that we represent as we honor the stories of the actual women who were heroes and that they have amazing stories to share with us if we want to read more. So go out there, do some research, and if you're interested in playing these games, the materials are available out there. They're phenomenal. We're going to talk about them more and, and share with everybody, and I hope you're up for more Games of Night Witches with us. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being here. We're on a filthy quest line. We're here on Twitch. You also maybe you're watching us later on YouTube. If you've been participating in our chat with Redemptions, thank you so much. This has been such a wild ride. Thank you to our crew and everybody here. Thank you, Murdoch, for just bringing it. Oh my goodness, every time. It's delightful to be a part of such an amazing experience with everybody. And I hope that we all have a wonderful Remembrance Day this week. Thank you, team.